Good morning and welcome to the 2023 Off-Road Carpet Nationals here at Beachline Raceway, sponsored by J Concepts. I'm here with Mr. Jason Rona, who is J Concepts. I'd like to get a big thank you for this event and sponsoring everything. And tell us a little bit about the series that you guys run. Well, I mean, we have a uh, an INS, which is the Indoor National Series, which is for uh, dirt. And then we have a carpet series called the NCTS, uh, which is on carpet and one race is on AstroTurf. And uh, so we got those nine events throughout the year. Uh, you know, we used to have other events too, like the Super Cup in Florida, which we've kind of um, we've kind of taken a step back from not having a series in Florida for a couple of years. So doing the national series, and uh, so we have some one-off events too. How is your racing going this weekend? You know, it's uh, it kind of comes and goes. You know, um, you know, all the guys back in the pits, they kind of help me a little bit, uh, trying to get the stuff working a little better. Um, I kind of like put a lot of blame on my pr driving personally. Uh, you know, a lot of the racers tend to the more the the more uh, polished their skills are, they tend to blame the car, uh, and then I tend to blame myself. So you know, it's it kind of comes and goes. I mean, there'll be a qualifier or or run that feels really good. I make a little you know fewer mistakes, and then there's the ones where you have five or six mistakes, and it just doesn't. You know, it doesn't feel good when that's happening. You know, you're not having as much fun. But it's nice to actually be out there experiencing everything that, uh, you know, everyone is uh, can experience. You can kind of learn firsthand. Uh, it's nice to get some, you know, new ideas while you're racing and, and, and stuff like that. So, and it's just uh, it's just a great event to be here because uh, obviously with the, you know, with them going to turf, then to carpet, uh, you know, this is, it's a really clean atmosphere in here. They always do their... Florida Carpet Champs, uh, very right. You know, they always close down ahead of time and, and uh, you know, clean up, make it look good. They did the same thing for this race. So it's just got a real professional feel here. Uh, you know, this is about an hour and a half from where we are. Uh, so we, we try to come over here and do, you know, support some club racing, some of their series stuff too. And, uh, of course, their Florida Carpet Champs. So we try to get involved, be a sponsor, and do what we can to help the, to help the tracks. How do you feel this Nationals compared to last year's Carpet Nationals? I feel like I feel like everyone has a little better handle on, on uh, the carpet racing this year. We have uh, last year at Northwest, uh, different, totally different track, uh, different kind of carpet. Uh, it was a little, uh, it was a little, uh, kind of a long track, but not quite as deep. And I, I feel the racers are a little more prepared this year, maybe than they were last year. Uh, and I think the race is a little more successful. There's more entries here. Uh, than there were last year and um, I think it's important that we have you know classes like the 21.5 uh, you know we do got the 40 plus and you know having these uh, stadium truck classes the trucks are getting better now if you look at Spencer Rivkins and Dakota they're kind of taking this an into another generation for stadium trucks that are for carpet um, and I can see the 13.5 stadium truck class kind of picking up as maybe new trucks come out or conversions or whatever I think we'll get some very interested racers there uh, because the, the vehicles are looking better on the carpet um, so in general I think the 
Um, the future is kind of bright for this kind of an event, the Roar Nationals. Uh, you know, when it first started, I was thinking, you know, why did we have two events? You know, we could have maybe just had one Roar Off-Road Nationals and then just decided, you know, maybe one year's carpet, one year's dirt. But, um, you know, there's some people or some racers that are specialists, I guess you could say. And, you know, maybe having the one event per year on the carpet uh, gives them that opportunity to always just run a carpet nationals. Well, I'd definitely like to thank you for all you do for the sport in general. And Roar would like to get more involved in the sport in general. So if you're out there and you didn't make it to this nationals, look at the J Concepts Indoor Series as a great place to get better for coming up nationals and other races around the country. There's lots of big races. Florida has their Florida Carpet Champs. Um, here at this track and Jason has races all over the country uh, again thank you very much for all your support of racing we appreciate it yeah absolutely thanks to Roar too you know like we talked about or, or I was mentioning on Facebook that you know it's got a, a little nicer kinder gentler feel here this weekend I think um, you know you know now that you've taken over uh, with Roar and obviously you did one carpet Nats already um, for on road now we're into the off road one and and I don't hear, um, I hear the racers just complying, you know, they're going through tech. It doesn't seem to be as like, you know, by, you know, by every letter of the rule, mm -hmm. uh, which the, re the racers appreciate getting, still getting through tech, still running their race, not being DQ'd so easily, uh, maybe getting more of the warning and then come back, make it right the next time. Uh, the voltage stuff you guys have kind of loosened up on. And I, I can see that the racers are really enjoying this and, um, yeah, I think the, the, the Roar stuff is, is in good shape. We got a, this event. The Fuel Nationals is obviously sold out. That's always probably the biggest one of the year uh, up there at A-Main's uh, Silver Dollar. So we kind of look, I'm looking forward to, to going there again. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks, Clayton. Body Trinity Motor Motive Battery with a Spectrum Radio and Hobby Wing Just Stock Speed Controller. His sponsors include Motive. In your four spot is John Ermer Jr. 
starting third from Port St. Lucie, Florida. He's running a SCT 6.2 associated chassis with J Concepts tires, Savox Servo, J Concepts body, Reedy Motor, Protec RC battery with a Fataba radio. Speed controller is a Reedy 510. His sponsors are, would like to thank Avant Garde Design for the paychecks to make this possible. And thank you to the Beachline crew, Robbie, Daniel, TJ, Chris, Cal, Tim, and Gavin. Love you, Mom. Your third starter is Seth Payton. <laughs> Starting second from, is it Grantville? From the United States, driving an X-ray chassis, J Concepts tires, Trinity Servo, J Concepts body with Trinity motor, Trinity batteries, Sandwall radio, and a Trinity speed controller. His sponsors include FDT Tire Prep, Easy Customs Paint. Thank you to to my dad for pushing me and keeping me or helping me get faster. Thank you to the entire X-ray team for all their help, and thank you Beachline for the for an amazing event. Your second starter is Justin Sherman. From Zephyr Hills, Florida, driving an X-ray with J Concepts tires, Trinity servo, J Concepts body, Trinity motor, Trinity battery, Sandwall radio, and Trinity speed controller. His sponsors include Easy Customs Paint. He wants to thank Cabin Abbott and Ty and Gord Tessman, whole X-ray and T Trinity teams, Jason and Paul from J Concepts for always supporting us. Thank you to my son Justin for always pushing me and being a best friend and my wife for understanding a hobby I love to enjoy. Your 13.5 two-wheel drive short course TQ is Tom Sherman. All right, drivers, go ahead, roll them out. All right, straight away is closed, straight away is closed. Go ahead, bring them to your grid spots. The eight will be left open. All right, drivers, grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your 13.5 two-wheel drive short course, amen. We got Tom out in that spot, top spot, Justin in the two, Peyton three, Irma four, Wyrick in the five. Oh, Peyton catching the pipe. That's gonna move Irma up to that three spot, Wyrick into the four, Peyton down to the five. Oh, Wyrick going rolling, coming off the stage. Gonna drop him down to that eight spot. Sherman, in, or Tom in that top spot, Justin in the two. 
John Ermer Jr. in that three spot now. Peyton four. Gonzalez five. Gazer six. Wyrick seven. Davis eight. Larson nine. I'll careful on the step down. We are clear. Uh, Justin getting in some trouble around the triangle. That's going to put Irma right on the back bumper. Irma trying to make the pass over the tabletop. He gets crossed up. Now Peyton and Justin side by side. Peyton up to the two. Justin down to the three. Meanwhile, Tom Sherman starting to pull away here in race number eight. Our short course A main. Battle for that second spot over the tabletop. Peyton in the two. Justin, take a look on the inside, making the pass. Justin back up to the two. Pey oh, Justin getting loose, coming off the step down. That puts Peyton up to the two. Ermer into the three. Justin down to that four spot. Tom Sherman, four and a half seconds up on that battle for second. Ermer taking a look on the inside for second. Unable to make pass, goes back to the inside. Now Ermer up to the two, Peyton three, Justin in the four, Wyrick five, Gazer six, Gonzalez seven, Larson eight, Davis in the nine. Uh, Justin have some trouble coming to the driver's stand. That's gonna allow Ermer and Peyton to pull away just a bit, separate themselves from that four spot. Your leader coming to the driver's stand, crossing over the tabletop. Battle for that second spot coming to the driver's hand, getting ready to come up on some traffic as they go over the tabletop. Thank you very much, traffic, appreciate it. That battle for a second down, the step down in through the S's, Ermer in the two, Peyton in the three spot. Justin in the four, Wyrick five, Gazer six, uh, uh, Gonzalez seven, Larson eight, Davis nine, careful through the chicane. We are clear. Pick your leader up down the straightaway, he goes. Five and a half seconds last time by with two minutes left to go. That's it still, five and a half seconds. Ermer in the two, Peyton in the three. That's the battle on the racetrack as your leader's coming down the step down. Over the tabletop, that battle for a second goes up onto the stage. Oh, Ermer catching a pipe. Peyton tapping him in the back bumper saying, get going. And now in the straightaway they go. It is two and three. A half a second was the separation last time. By careful on the stage, coming off the stage. Careful coming off the stage. We are clear. You're the leader down this through the roller. Now coming to the driver's stand. That battle for a second and through the chicane around the berm. Armor still in the two. Peyton in the three. Around the triangle down in front of the driver's stand and over the tabletop. Peyton getting a little crossed up, giving Irma a little bit of breathing room. So Irma holding on to that two spot. Peyton in the three with one minute left to go. Wyrick up to the four. Sherman, or Justin five. Gazer six. Larson seven. Gonzalez eight. Davis nine. Your battle for second over the tabletop. Now Peyton up to the two spot. And your set battle for second and third down the straightaway. Peyton up to the two. Ermer in the three with 30 seconds left to go. Tom Sherman checking out here in 13 5 true crew. Your leaders coming up on the stage. Watch out, traffic. Thank you very much. As they come down the step down in through the S's with 15 seconds left to go. Traffic now at the end of the straightaway. At the, at the berm, at the berm. This is battle for a second. That's your second and third place. Oh, Ermer catching the body, coming to the driver's stand. That's your third place truck drivers. That's the clock, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's traffic seven, that is third right behind you. Keep going, looking for two more. And I'll stop, I'll stop. Tom Sherman is gonna win your 13-5 short course. Hey man, Seth Payton's gonna go in the two, John Ermer in the three, Brian Wyrick in the four, Justin Sherman in the five, Tim Larson in the six, Mike Gazer in the seven, Omar Gonzalez in the eight, Teddy Davis in the nine. Tom, Seth, and John set your cars down in tech. Everybody else right back, right to their marshalling spots.
Race nine, hold your cars for me. All right, Tom, come over here, see Clayton, or is it Lefty, you're gonna do the interview? <laughs> What's up? Right, let's get our spots. Marshall's just getting our spots. Good morning, everybody. We are here at the 2023 Off-Red Raw Carpet Nationals brought to you by Jake Concepts and Beachline RC. Uh, we just had our first win on a 13-5 short course. Tom Sherman, great race from start to finish. You let it. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It was fun. Had to beat my son. He took the Dirt Nationals a couple years ago, so I had to had some payback for him. Yeah, it's good to see you and your son up there doing some racing. Uh, it's all about family here at RC. You know, you guys are doing it for a long time. It's good to see you. You know, RC is for everybody. Yeah, it is. It is for everybody. I mean, I'm an old man out here running with the kids, and I love it. Yeah, I see you're shaking. You're nervous. I'm still shaking. Congratulations, man. Um, and I guess you got bragging rights going home tonight. I got bragging rights for a couple couple weeks. Good, good, good stuff, and congratulations once again. Your 13-5 short course winner, winner, Tom Sherman. Thanks, Kenny. Thank you. The straightaway is closed. All right, you're starting. This is Mod Stadium Truck A1. Starting in the one spot is Spencer Rifkin. In the two, Dakota Finn. In the three, Brock Chaplin. In the four, Ryan Cavallari. In the five, Juan Lopez. In the six, Tater Sontag. And in the seven, Quincy Adams. Atkins. All right, Omar. Move back this way for the start, and then after the start, go back to the booth. All right, drivers, grid is set. Grid is locked for your A1 for modified stadium truck. Next sound you hear will be the start of your A1. Got Rifkin out in that whole shot, followed by Fend in the two. Chaplin three, Cavalier four, Sontag five, Lopez six, Atkins seven. Now, Fend up to that top spot as they work in through the S's down the straightaway they go. Fend in the one, Rifkin two, Chaplin three, battle for that top spot around the triangle. Now coming to the driver's stand. Over the tabletop they working onto the stage. Rifkin taking a look on the outside, unable to make the pass. Down the straightaway they go once again. Let's call it two tenths of a second. Fend in that top spot. Rifkin two. Chaplin three. Cavalier four. Sontag five. Lopez six. Atkins seven. Uh, Spencer get, uh, Rifkin getting a little crossed up on the stage. That's going to allow it to go out to six tenths of a second. Fend holding on to that top spot. Chaplin trying to close that gap in on Rifkin as your leaders are starting to come through traffic. Now up onto the stage they go. Dakota Finn holding on to that top spot. Spencer Rifkin two, Brock Chaplin three, Ryan Cavallari in the four. Finn trying to spread that lead out. Now nine tenths gets on two wheels going through the triangle. Finn maintaining that top spot. Rifkin two. Chaplin in the three. One, two, three. Your leader coming to the driver's stand in front of the driver's stand over the tabletop. Second place over the tabletop. Third over the tabletop. Finn holding on to that top spot as we're a mi er, two minutes down and three minutes left to go. Separation 1.1 seconds top two trucks. Chaplin 1.3 back from Rivkin. 
Your leader starting to work traffic over the roller. Second place there. Third place will be there as well shortly. As your leader coming up on the stage, you're getting ready to come up on some more traffic. Second place as well will be right there. Thank you. Battle for that top spot now. Seven tenths. Rifkin closing it in just a bit. With as we're just past halfway. Oh, Rifkin going two wheels in front of the driver's stand. Able to save it. Losing a little bit of time now. 1.2 seconds. Careful in front of the driver's stand. We are clear. Finn Rifkin on this stage together. Coming off down the step down through the S's. And the running order is 2, 1, 3, 4, 6, 5, 7 with two minutes left to go. Dakota Finn holding on to that top spot. Rifkin in the two. One in front of the driver's stand over the tabletop. One second was the separation last time by. Finn maintaining that top spot. Now 1.1 able to pull away just a bit that lap as we are a minute 40 on the race clock. This is race nine. Race 10 will be up next. Your leader's working through the S's coming down the straightaway. Finn holding on to that top spot. Rifkin to 2.1 seconds now is the separation of your leader over the tabletop. Second place over the tabletop. Chaplin in the three, Cavalry in the four, Cavalry closing it in on Chaplin as they work onto the onto the stage and coming off the stage. We're working traffic. There's one car separating third and fourth of Cavalry and Cha uh, Chaplin. Chaplin in the three, Cavalry in the four. Meanwhile, up front through the S's down the straightaway they go. 1.4 now, lead for Finn with 30 seconds on the race clock. Cavalry trying to close it in. It's 1.4. Chaplin has over Cavalry with 25 seconds on the clock. Rivkin trying to make a hard charge careful through the triangle. Your leader's coming to the driver's stand and over the tabletop. Second place over the tabletop. That is second place. Thank you. Less than 10 on the race clock, drivers. One point six is the separation. Top two, careful in front of the driver stand. Second place, we got one trucking. Ah, oh, that's the clock. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And all stop. Dakota Finn's going to take a one here in modified stadium truck. Spencer Rifkin in the two. Brock Chaplin in the three. Ryan Cavallari four. Juan Lopez in the five. Sontag in the six. And Atkins in the seven. Believe the hype, as Witch Racing Products has all you need to get RC cars dialed in with Hyperglide ceramic bearings and other high-performance products for the competitive RC racer. From the shop to the track, increased drivetrain, reduced friction. Hyperglide along to just go faster with Witch Racing Products. Hello, we are here at the 2023 Roar Corporate Na off Road Corporate Nationals, brought to you by J Concepts and Beachline Raceway. I'm here with your mod stadium truck A1 winner to go to Fen. That's a little bit about how your weekend's been going. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a good weekend. Uh, we made a lot of changes to the truck last night, kind of wholesaled it a little bit, and uh, definitely was better this morning in practice. Uh, still not perfect, but we made a lot of progress with it and was able to uh, just stay clean and not uh, have any crazy mistakes. Uh, truck is is really tough right here on the carpet. Uh, the landing landing's pretty hard, so yeah, we got a good uh, stay clean, and we'll just try to keep that rolling for the next few mains. Okay, what have you been trying to get out of your car that you've been looking for all weekend? 
Um, truck really just a balance. Um, you know, it's it's hard to find a balance. I think a truck and carpet in general. I'm um, trying to get that high speed, high speed uh, flow, and then not have it be tippy, and then still have low speed steering and landing and stuff. Uh, so just kind of just trying to find that right balance. Okay. You gonna make any changes going to day two? Uh, I might make a little something change. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck and good luck in your upcoming mains as well. Thank you. All right. That's a good fan. Your A1 winner of winner of mod truck. We're gonna get back to racing here now. For Masters, two-wheel drive buggy A main is going to be from Orange City, Florida, driving a Schumacher chassis, J Concepts tires, Trinity servo, J Concepts body, Trinity battery, Fatava radio, and Trinity speed controller. His sponsors include RevTech. His sponsors include Trinity, RevTech. Special thanks to Kevin for all the help. Thanks to Robbie and the Beachline crew for a great facility. Your 10th qualifier is Jason Venetia. Starting ninth from Wilm Wilmington, Massachusetts, driving a C uh, CB6 Associated. J Concepts Tires, Team Scream Servo, J Concepts Body, Team Scream Motor, Fataba Radio, and Antigua Speed Controller. Big thanks to John Gravata and Kyle Holmberg for all the help and encouragement. Your ninth place qualifier is Daniel Fitzgerald. Starting eighth from Boston Lake, New York, driving a TLR with Proline Tires, Spectrum Servo, Proline Body, Trinity Motor, Trinity Batteries, a Hobby Wing Speed Controller. His sponsors include TLR, Horizon Hobby, ProLine, Spectrum, Trinity, Hobby Wing, Stick It One, Mod, Avid, Team Brood, and Variety Water. And of course, my beautiful, amazing wife, Rose, for all the trackside support for the family. Your eighth place qualifier is Jeffrey Kaufman. Starting seventh from St. Cloud, Florida, driving a Schumacher, AKA tires, Phantom Servo, J Concepts Body, Phantom Motor, Phantom Battery, Sandwall Radio, and Phantom Speed Controller. His sponsors include One Up Racing, TDK. Your seventh place qualifier is John Prickett. From Lucas, Kentucky, driving an X ray, J Concepts, using J Concepts tires. MKS USA Servo, X-Ray Gamma 2C Body, Motive Motor, Motive Batteries, a Sandwall Radio, and Hobby Wing Speed Controller. His sponsors include 110% TQ Wire. Thanks team, thanks X-Ray team, especially Paul Cicerello, Gord, and Ty Tessman, Adam, and Nolan Hunt. Your sixth place qualifier is Steve Dunn. From Cleveland, driving an X-Ray using J, J Concepts tires, MKS servo, X-Ray body, Hobby Wing motor, factory steam battery, Sandwall radio, and Hobby Wing speed controller. His sponsors include X-Ray, RC America, Hobby Wing, A-Main, Factory Extreme, Hootie, Avid, TQ Wire, Boom RC, Easy Customs, and J Concepts. Your fifth place qualifier is Paul Cicerello. From Danvers, driving a CB6 Associated with J Concepts tires, Team Scream Servo, J Concepts F2 body, Team Scream motor, Team Scream batteries, Fataba radio, and a Tekken speed controller. His sponsors inc include Team Scream, J Concepts, Tekken, Exotech, McFactory, Speed Merchant, Destiny, SJT tires, Mod, Xenon, TQ Wire. Diffs online. Special thanks to Dan and Kyle for all the help, my family, and all my sponsors, and the Beachline crew for this top notch facility. Your fourth place qualifier is John Cravada. From Claremont, Florida, 
using an RC10B64 with J Concepts tires, Reedy Servo, J Concepts body, Reedy motor, Reedy batteries, Sandwall radio, and a Reedy speed controller. His sponsors include J Concepts, Team, Team Associated, Reedy, RM2, Stick It One, Racing, Dark Side Designs. Your third place qualifier is Jason Rona. From Bonner Springs, Kansas, driving a TLR 22 5.0 with J Concepts tires, Trinity Servo, J Concepts body, Trinity motor, Trinity batteries, Sandwall radio, and a Trinity speed controller. His sponsors include TLR, Horizon Hobbies, J Concepts, Trinity, Boom RC, AJRC, and Clint's Creations. Your second place qualifier is David Alabrico. Your TQ for Two Wheel Drive Masters from Groveland, Florida. Driving a team associated B64 J Concepts Fuzz Bite Tires, Reedy Servo, J Concepts S2 Body, Reedy Motor, Reedy Battery, Sandwall Radio, Reedy 610R Speed Controller. His sponsors include J Concepts Team Associated, Reedy, Sandwall, MIP, Factory Team, Customs, RC gra uh, Graphics, RM2 and stick at one. Your TQ is Paul Wynn. All right, drivers, go ahead and roll them out. Tater, over to over there, please. Underneath the Tim. No. All right, stay there, stay there, stay there. Sean, get you. All right, straight away is closed, straight away is closed. All right, roll them to your grid spots. All right, drivers, grid is set. Grid is All right, real quick, guys, we have a Tacoma and a Ford that are blocking the driveway. They need to be, it needs to be moved. License plate Florida 54B L or is it UXK UXK 54B UXK and the Tacoma is a Florida plate AYO 3RN it needs to be moved All right drivers grid is set grid is locked the next sound you hear will be the start of your Masters two-wheel drive buggy, amen. Careful. Restart, restart, restart. Regret them, drivers. Regret them.
All right, drivers, grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your master's two-wheel drive. Amen. Great start that time. Got win out in that early top spot. Aubrey go to Rona three, Cravada four, Cicerello five, Dunn six. They are in order. Top three, trying to break it away here. Win in that top spot, Aubrey go to Rona three. Careful in front driver's stand, we are clear. Win trying to pull away from Alabrico in that two spot. Rona putting pressure on Alabrico now as they go over the tabletop. Battle for second and third. Seven, one point three seconds separate top three. Then we have Cicerello into four, Cravada five, Cricket six, Dunn seven, Common eight, Venetia nine, and Fitzgerald ten. Win holding on that top spot, Albrico two, Rona in the three. Four ten says your leader starting to come up on traffic. Now Albrico having some trouble, looks like. As your leader's coming up through trouble, through traffic and through the bank. That's going to put Rona up to the two. Careful, low on the straightaway, low on the straightaway. We go low on the straight, low on the straight, low on the straight. We are clear. Winning that top spot, Rona two. Cicerello now in that three spot, Albrico four. Battle for that top spot. One second is the separation as they work over the roller coming to the driver's stand. Winning that top spot, Rona two over the tabletop now onto the stage. Getting ready to come up on some traffic. Win goes wide coming on the stage. That allows Rona to get right on the back bumper. Done. Those are your leaders right behind you. Thank you very much. As now over the roller, they go through around the triangle up to the driver's stand. Win trying to put a little bit more space in between him and Rona as they battle it out. Oh, Rona catches a little bit of pipe going into the S's. That's going to allow Win to pull out to eight tenths as they're working with some more traffic. Second place will be right there. Thank you. Over the tabletop now. Onto the stage. Win in that top spot. Rona trying to close it back up. He does a little bit here through the S's. Win down the straightaway. Rona down the straightaway. It's a half a second now. Rona picked up three tenths that lap. They're getting ready to come up on. Your leaders are coming up onto the stage. One and two right there. Now coming down the step down through the S's. Thank you very much. Your leaders through the sweeper now around the bank. Win in that top spot, six tenths back is Jason Rona in the two. Over the tabletop, they work now, coming onto the stage, off the stage, getting ready to come up on some more traffic. Oh, Rona rolls it coming off the stage. That's gonna give Paul Wynn a huge advantage as Rona now working some traffic. That is second place. Careful on the straightaways. Stay low on the straightaway, low on the straight. We are now clear. Careful through the triangle, one on the outside of the triangle, one on the outside of the triangle. We're gonna have to see how that works out when in that top spot. Rona, Cicerello, Albrico, two, three, four over the roller. Now on the stage they work. Rona holding on to that two spot. Cicerello looking for it as they work through the S's and down the straightaway. They're getting ready to come up on some traffic coming up over the roller. Thank you very much. Fourth place will be right there as well. Rona and Cicerello all over the backside of Rona. Down the straightaway they go. It was four tenths last time by. Let's make it two tenths of a second. Separate second and third as they're getting ready to come up on some more traffic coming to the driver's stand. Over the tabletop. Battle for second. Thank you very much. Your second, battle for second and third, down the straightaway. Two tenths of a second is the separation. Over the roller coming to the driver's stand. Now over the tabletop. Cicerello all over the back bumper. Takes a look on the outside on the stage. Unable to make the pass. Rona holding on to that two spot. Cicerello three, Alabrico right there as well. Two, we got two, three, four. Alabrico closing up. Now two and three up to the stage. Coming down the step down, the white and blue, then white and yellow. 
Orange and white, those are your second and third right behind you. Thank you. Fourth place will be right there as well. Next car comes up. Oh, Cicerello and Rona get together. That's the clock. Cicerello's got to give it back. Give it back, Cicerello. Give it back, Cicerello. There you go. Thank you. And looking for one more to finish up. And all stop. Paul Wynn's going to win your Masters two-wheel drive buggy A main. David Albrico is going to finish in the two spot. Jason Rona in the three. Paul Cicerillo in the four. Jeffrey Kaufman in the five. Steve Dunn in the six. John Prickett in the seven. Jason Venetia in the eight. Daniel Fitzgerald in the nine. And John Cavada in the ten. Paul, David, Jason, set your cars down in tech. Paul, come on over here. Race 11, hold your cars. Come over a little Thank bit, Paul. Come over a little bit, Paul. Clayton was more my height. You're a little too tall now. We're here at the 2023 Raw Off-Road Nationals, brought to you by J Concepts and Beachline Raceway. Paul Wynn, you just won the Masters two-wheel drive buggy. You look smooth and fast out there. Tell us a little bit about your race. Yeah, the car was uh, really awesome. It, it got a little tight there at the beginning with Dave Alberico and then Jason. Um, once they made a mistake, then I kind of just went it on cruise control and you know, uh, didn't do the double anymore and didn't take any chances. Car was good. Yeah, you look real smooth out there. I was thinking, you're, you know, from your on-road career back in the day, does it apply here at this off, this carpet track? Um, a little bit with this layout. Normally, carpet tracks are point and shoot. Mm -hmm. You drive aggressive, but with this layout, Beachline put in, it's more double apexes, rounding turns. So it's a little more like my on-road days. So yeah. that makes it fun. Sweet. Well, congratulations and a good job. You beat the boss. Yep. Uh, it's going to be a long ride back home. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you. That's Paul Wynn, your winner of two-wheel drive masters. All right, straight away is closed, straight away is closed. All right, John Prickett, for the start of the race, come over here to the opening and then cross over after the start. And, and Paul, uh, Cicerello, can you go over to the LRP sign for me, please? Thank you. In the one spot is Daniel Chavez in the two. Doug Riviere in the three. Kyle Holmberg in the four. Tyler Hooks in the five. Kai Goff in the six. Nate Sutherland in the seven. Dustin Fox in the eight. Jeff Stakowitz in the nine. Joe Levin and in the 10 is Sammy Moran. Moran. That's why I pre-apologize there, Sammy. <laughs> Ronnie, are you covering right there? Okay, thank you. All right, drivers, grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your 17.5 two-wheel drive buggy brought to you by Team Scream A1. Great start, guys, great start. Got Chavez out in that top spot. 
La Riviera in the two. Chavez getting a little squirrely coming off the step down. La Riviera unable to take the advantage. Holmberg in the three. Hooks four, golf five. Chavez trying to put a little bit of distance. We got Holmberg up to that two spot. Hooks three, La Riviera four. Chavez in that top saw Holmberg two, Hooks three, La Riviera four, Fox five, Goff six, 11, seven seconds, eight, Moran nine, Sutherland and 10. Up front, Daniel Chavez now 1.2 up on Holmberg into two, Hooks three. The Riviera four battle is for that third spot. You got three, four, five. Going through the sweeper, in through the chicane, trying to close it in on Holmberg in that two spot as they work in front of the driver's stand. Now over the tabletop. Hooks in that three spot, La Riviere four and Fox five. La Riviere all over the backside of Hooks in that three spot now. Fox closing that gap, top three, or we got three, four, five working through the S's. Meanwhile, Don, Daniel Chavez starting to check out with a 2.2 second advantage over Holmberg in that two spot. Home, uh, Hooks trying to close that gap on Holmberg with Le Riviere right there on his tail and Fox right there as well. Three, four, five, nose to tail down and straight away they go. We're two down, three to go, drivers. Chavez still in that top spot, Holmberg in the two. Hooks in the three, La Riviere four and Fox in the five. Through the bank they were coming over the roller around the triangle, now coming to the driver's stand. Three, four, five, over the tabletop together. Oh, Fox gets it wrong coming off the tabletop. That's gonna leave the battle for third and fourth. Down the straightaway they go. Chavez still in that top spot. Holmberg two, hooks three, La Riviere four, Goff into the five, Fox six. 11-7, Moran eight, Sutherland and nine, Stockwoods 10. That battle for that three spot down the straightaway in through the sweeper, into the bank. Now over the roller, they work around the triangle, coming to the driver's stand. Hooks in the three, La Riviere in the four. Hooks getting a little bit of separation between him and Le Rivier with a minute 55 left to go, drivers. Seven tenths separate third and fourth as they're starting to spread out up front. Now careful coming off the tabletop. We got one upside down off the tabletop and on the stage we are clear. Your leader, Daniel Chavez, working in through the S's. Four seconds up on Kyle Holmberg in the two as he works through the S's. Got a big battle in the back of the pack. Working, going wheel to wheel. 11 seconds, Sutherland, Fox, Moran, and Goff. Five through 10, going over the tabletop. We're in the final minute. Chavez still in that top spot. We'll pick your leader up as he goes down the straightaway. He's getting ready to come up on that battle for five, six, seven, eight. Holmberg in the two hooks, three Lou Riviere. One second back now from hooks. Chavez working that bank. He's got a five and a half second advantage with 30 seconds left to go. Looks like he might be backing it down just a little bit not to catch that battle as he's got a huge cushion. And with 15 seconds left to go. We got careful coming off the driver's stand. We are, er, stage, we are clear. Less than five on the race clock drivers. As the race clock, race to the end, race to the line, race to the line. And 
Daniel Chavez is going to get a victory lap. Man, everybody is done. Daniel Chavez is going to win your A1 for 17-5. Two will drive buggy. Da Kyle Holmberg, two. Tyler Hooks in the three. Doug Olivier in the four. Drove 11 in the five. Just Stackwitz in the six. Kyle Kai Goff in the seven. Sammy Moran in the eight. Dustin Fox in the ninth. Nate Sutherland in the ten. Daniel Kyle Tyler. Set your cars down in tech. Daniel, over here, please. Everybody else, right back to your marshalling spots. Hold your cars, hold your cars. Gavin. <laughs> Welcome to the 2003-2023 Roa Off-Road Carpet Nationals here at what to you by J Concepts here at the Beachline Raceway. Uh, we just had the 17.5 two-wheel drive brought to you by Team Scream. Daniel Travers, you led lights to flags. Good race. Yeah, it went pretty good. Just try to keep it on the wheels, take it nice and easy at the start, and then pull away. Yeah, you recently made the move of the Schumacher. I've been watching you. You've been killing it out here in stock. How do you like the Schumacher cars? They're really good. It's definitely the best tool I've ever driven, and they've also given me the opportunity to travel a little bit and get some more big race experience, which I think is really paying off. Okay. Any plans to make any changes going to A2? Nope. All right. Well, congratulations, man. We look forward to seeing if you can wrap it up in A2. Awesome. Thank you, Keenan. All right. That's Daniel Chavez, your winner of the 17.5 Team Screen Two-Wheel Drive Buggy. All right, this is your 21.5 two-wheel drive buggy A main brought to you by Trinity. Starting in a 10. Place qualifier is Carter Gonzalez. Starting seventh from Motor City, Florida. Driving a TLR with J Concepts tires. Trinity low profile servo. S2 J Concepts body. Trinity slot machine motor. RevTech 4300 white carbon battery. Sandwell M17 radio. Trinity MX10 speed controller. Huge thanks to the whole Beachline Raceway crew and Robbie Michaels on this great event. Huge thanks also to Team Trinity 
Thomas, Tom, and DP with killer chassis help. Your seventh place qualifier is Kevin Abbott. Starting sixth from Port St. Lucie, Florida, driving a associated 6.3 with J Concepts Tires, ProTech Servo Associated ba uh, Body, Trinity Slot Machine Motor, ProTech RC 4600 Battery, Futaba S7 PEX with a Hobbywing XR10 Pro Speed Controller. Would like to thank Advent Guard Design for the paychecks to make this possible. And thanks to Beachline Crew, Robbie, Daniel, TJ, Chris, Cal, Tim, and Gavin. Love you, Mom. Your sixth place qualifier is Seth Payton. <laughs> Starting fifth from Parts Unknown, he wants he is, he is sponsored from by Team D's and all local Schumacher crew. Your fifth place qualifier is Alan Holiday. <laughs> Starting fourth from Lakeland, Florida, driving an X-Ray XB2 J Concepts tires, Pro Performance Servo X-Ray body, Trinity motor, ProTech battery, Fataba radio, and a Hobbywing speed controller. He wants to say thanks to J Concepts. Your fourth place qualifier is Dennis Cubbage. From Orlando, Florida, driving a TLR with J Concepts tires, Protect Servo, J Concepts body, Trinity motor with Protect battery, with a Fataba radio and a Tegan speed controller. Special thanks to Protect and Trinity for the help they give me. Your third place qualifier is our Tim Raskin. Starting second from Melbourne, Florida. Driving a team associated B64 with J Concept pin swag front and fuzz bite rear tires. Savox 1258G servo. J, Con J Concepts S2 body. A Trinity 215 slot machine team spec motor. Protect 5000 LIHV battery. Sandwell M17 radio and a Tekken RS Pro speed controller. His sponsors include Trueform. Massive thanks to TJ Chavez and Ramos for all the help and support. And thanks to my family for, for supporting me in racing. Your second place qualifier is Michael Russell. And your TQ for 21.5 two-wheel drive buggy brought to you by Trinity from Aurora, Colorado. Driving a Yokomo chassis, J Concepts tires, Team Powers motor, Team Powers batteries, using a Tekken speed controller. His sponsors include his wife, Teresa, love you. Alex and Taylor, wish you were here. MHORRC Raceway, Bergy Builds, Team Powers, Yoke Mods, and all the guys back home. Your TQ is Russ Johnson. All right, drivers, go ahead, roll them out. All right, drivers, go ahead. Straightaway is closed. Bring them to your grid position.
All right, driver's grid is set. All right, driver's grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your 21-5 two-wheel drive buggy brought to you by Trinity Amen. Got Got Johnson in that top spot. Russell over the back bumper, over the bank they go. Coming over the roller. In front of the table, er, over the table top onto the stage. Johnson one, Russell two, Raskin in the three spot. Holiday four, Cubbage five. Careful coming off the stage. Your leaders going over the roller. Now over the table top. Johnson in that top spot. Russell two now working around the bank. Over the roller they go. R Russell all over the backside of Johnson. That was four tenths last time by. Taking a look on the outside on the stage. Unable to make the pass. Johnson getting a little squirrely on the step down now through the S as they work. Russell trying to find all the way around. Trying to do a wall ride to make the pass. Unable to do it now in front of the driver's stand. Oh, Russell going a little short on the tabletop. Crossed him up a little bit, losing a little bit of time now through the S as they go down and straight away they work. Russell showing some pace right now as they work in front of the driver's stand. Careful coming over the tabletop, careful coming over the tabletop. It is clear. Russell all over the backside of Johnson. Down the straight away they go. Gazer, the lead pack is coming up on you. Got your leaders coming to the driver's stand now. Over the tabletop. Battle for that top spot. Oh, Johnson rolling and catching the pipe. Now it's going to put Russell up to the top spot. Johnson down to the two. Ra uh, Raskin holding on to that three spot. Careful over to the, your leader rolls it. Uh, and then he goes over the pipe. That's going to put Johnson back up to the top spot. With a pretty big lead. We are halfway, drivers. Johnson in that top spot. Russell two, Raskin three, Peyton in the four. As we're approaching the final two minutes, Russ Johnson holding on to that top spot. As he works around the bank, Russell in that two, Raskin trying to close it in on Russell. Russell working some traffic, Raskin's got one car in between, now two cars between him and Russell. A minute 35 left to go. Drivers, careful on the step down, careful on the step down. Your leader, Russ Johnson, in front of the driver's stand, over the tabletop. Second place coming to the driver's stand. Third place coming to the driver's stand. We are a little bit separated here with a minute 20 left to go. Peyton in that four spot. He's 1.2 back from Raskin in the three. Holiday up to that four spot. Peyton down to the five with one minute left to go. Careful over the tabletop coming onto the stage. Careful coming off the stage. Your leader.
having some trouble on the tabletop. That's going to allow Russell to close that gap with 40 seconds left to go. It was 5.8. Surfer will stay high on the straightaway. We are clear. 5.8 last time by, this time by. Let's make it 2.9. Your leader working the, in front of the driver's stand. Careful coming on the step down. Driver's now on the stage. Russ Johnson holding on that top spot. 20 seconds left to go. Raskin trying to close it in on Russell with 15 seconds left to go. It's 1.1 seconds. Oh, we got one over at the bank. Careful at the bank. We are clear. That is third place right in front of you. Thank you. Careful coming off the stage. Russ Johnson weaving back and forth, crossing the line to win your 21-5 buggy. Amen. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Looking for two more. And all stop. Rush Johnson's going to win your 21 5. Buggy, two wheel drive buggy A main. Michael Russell's going to be in the two. Tim Raskin, three. Seth Page is going to be finishing that four spot. Alan Holiday, five. Dennis Cabbage, six. Carter Gonzalez, seven. Tim Larson, eight. Mike Gazer, nine. And Kevin Abbott in the 10. Russ, Michael, and Tim. Set your cars down at Tech. Russ, come on over here. All right, Marshall, let's, let's get in spot, guys. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, Marshalls. Russ, we need you over here. Let's go. Russ, over here. Let's go. Good job, dude. <laughs> Let me see if we're lined up here. <laughs> Welcome to the 2023 Raw Off-Road Corporate Nationals, brought to you by J Concepts and Beachline Raceway. Uh, we just had the 21.5 two-wheel drive buggy, brought to you by Trinity. Ross, you just won. You excited? Uh, I'm emotional. <laughs> uh, boy, that wasn't the prettiest of races, but I just tried to hang in there and make it to the finish and kind of keep everything under control. Uh, first uh, national championship in over 20 years, so I'll take it. <laughs> Congratulations, you did it like Chaco, and um, uh, good job, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thanks, everybody back home. Teresa, I'll see you tomorrow. Kids, I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Congratulations, man. Thanks. Good to see you again. Yeah, you as well. We'll see you in November. <laughs> that's your, that's your 71.5 two-wheel drive uh, buggy champion brought to you by Trinity. All right, straight away is closed, straight away is closed. All right, starting the one spot, it's gonna be Daniel Chavez in the two, Nate Sutherland in the three, Joby Levin. Go ahead, put him in your grid spots, guys. In the four. All right, drivers, just go ahead and bring them to your grid spots. Daniel Chavez in the one, Nate Settler in the two, Jovi Levin in the three, Jeff Stackowitz in the four, Kai Goff in the five, Dustin Fox in the six, 
Sammy Moran in the seven, Kyle Holmberg in the eight, Doug Rivier in the nine, and Kenny Setzer in the 10. We have 11 spots there, guys, so. All right, drivers, grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your 13-5-4 drive. Buggy, brought to you by Surpass Hobbies A1. Got Chavez out in that top spot, 11 2, Stackwitz 3, Sullivan in the 4, Goff 5. Fox in the 6, Louvier 7, Setzer 8, Holmberg 9, Moran 10. Chavez 1.5 seconds up here on lap 2, 11 in the 2, Sutherland 3. Stackwitz in that four spot, Goff five, Fox six, Louvier seven, sets her eight, Holmberg nine, Moran 10. Daniel Chavez in that top spot, he comes down in through the S section, down the straightaway. 11 in that two spot, he is 1.6 seconds back. Sutherland in the three, th Sutherland seven tenths back, but then we have four, five, six. Three, four, five, six now. Nose and tail around the bank. Going over the roller. Settling in that three spot. Stackwitz enough four trying to find a way around into that podium spot as they work down the step down in through the S's. Now they're starting to close up. Chavez with a little bit of a long lap. Allowing 11 to get with 1.1. Oh, come on, careful coming off the step down, off the step down. We are clear. Stackowitz having some trouble on that step down. That's gonna put Goff up to the four. Fox five, Stackowitz down to the six. 11. And Sutherland battling it out through the sweeper. Two and three around the bank, coming over the roller. And front over the tabletop, onto the stage, coming off the stage, down the step down, they work. 11 in that two spot. Sutherland taking a look on the inside, making the pass up into the two. So Sutherland in the two, 11 down to the three. Oh, he rolls it, coming into the triangle. And that's gonna put 11 back up to that two spot. Goff up to the three, Fox four. Stackwitz five, Sutherland down to the six, Holmger, Holmberg seven, Setzer eight, Moran nine, Le Riviere in the 10. Careful coming onto the stage, we are clear. Three down, two to go, drivers. Chavez maintaining that top spot. Three seconds now is the separation. 11 in the two, Goff in the three. Goff trying to close that gap. It was 1.3 last time by. Let's make it nine tenths. Goff closing that gap on 11 for that two spot as they work up to the driver's stand. And in front of it onto the stage. 11 in the two, Goff in the three. Through the S as they work it down the straightaway. Goff closing that gap. Let's make it still nine tenths. Battle for that second spot in front of the driver's stand. Oh, 11 having some trouble over the tabletop. That's gonna put Goff up to the two. Stackowitz is gonna have some opportunity here. Careful going into the S's. Careful going into the S's, we are clear. Two minute, or one minute left to go. Chavez in the one, Goff two, 11, three, Stackowitz four. 
Holmberg in the five, Moran six, Setzer seven, Fox eight, Liberaire nine, and Sutherland at 10. Chavez working this step down. Getting ready to come on some more traffic here down the straightaway he goes. Goff crossing the line. 11 across the line, Stackowitz across the line. Two, three, four. Working their way to the driver stand and over the tabletop. 20 seconds left to go, drivers. Goffman maintaining that two spot, 11-3, Stackwitz in the four, less than 10 on the race clock. As right, so the race clock, finish the lap, you're on, race to the line. Daniel Chavez coming down the step down and through the S's. Down the straightaway, crossing the line to win A1 for your 13-5 four-wheel drive buggy. Kai Goff's gonna finish in the two spot. Jovi Levin in the three. Jeff Stackwitz in the four. Sammy Moran in the five. Kenny Setzer six. Kyle Holmberg seven. Dustin Fox eight. Doug LaRiviere in the nine. And Nate Sutherland in the 10. Daniel Kai Jovi. Daniel, Kai, and Jovi, set your cars down in tech. Daniel over here. Everybody else right out to Marshall. The Beachline Raceway brought to you by Jay Concepts, and we just had our 13 5 four wheel drive buggy brought to you by Surpass Hobbies. Danny Chavez, two for two. Yep, feel pretty good. Same game plan, just go out there, take it easy at the start, see what unfolds, and just try to pull away. Yeah, you led light, uh, from lights to flags. Uh, I thought that number two was going to catch you up, but you got in a little battle with Nate Sutherland, so that gave you some breathing room. I got to ask you, man, you're killing the two wheel drive. Tell me about your four wheel drive, Schumacher. Four-wheel drive is definitely still good. I would say it's a little hard to drive at the start, so I just have to really be patient in the first couple minutes and know that it's going to come in later. Okay. Did you learn anything from that race to apply to A2? Not really. Just keep the same game plan and try to take it home. Well, congratulations, man. We look forward to seeing what you can do in A2. Thank you, man. Shout out to my boy Ray Derrick back home. That was for you, bud. Bien. Good stuff. Good stuff, Danny. That's Danny Chavez. He just took A1 here. Uh, let's see if he can do it all. He can finish it off in A2. We're going to get back to the race in action here at Beach, Lane, Beach Line Raceway. All right, drivers, go ahead. Just roll them up to your grid spot. Starting in the one spot is going to be Dakota Finn in the two, Spencer Rifkin in the three, Brock Chaplin in the four, Aiden Horn in the five, Julian Olivares in the six, Aaron Kaufman in the seven, Brandon Foot in the eight, Tater Sontag in the nine, Ryan Cavallari, and in the ten will be Brandon Schimmel. All right, drivers, grid is set. Grid is. All right, drivers, grid is set. Grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your mod two wheel drive buggy A1 brought to you by J Concepts. Fend out. And that early hole shot followed by Rifkin in the two. Chaplin three. Through the S's they work down the straightaway they go. Rifkin all over the back wing of Finn. Over the tabletop onto the stage they work. Finn holds on to that top shot. Rifkin trying to find a way around. Down the straightaway they go. 35 seconds down, 425 left to go. Oh, Finn having some trouble coming over the tabletop. That's going to put Rifkin up to the top spot. Finn down to the two. Chaplin all over the backside of Finn for that second spot now. 
Horn three, Kaufman four, Foot five, Sontag six, Schimmel seven, Oliveris eight, and Cavalarian nine, Schimmel ten. Pick that battle up front. Rifkin now in that top spot, Finn two, 1.3, Bag Chaplin in a three, Horn four. Rifkin coming on the step downs, Finn and Chaplin down the step downs. Six tenths separated, Finn and Chaplin last time by. Let's make it five tenths now, a half a second. Separating second and third as we're a minute 30 down, three and a half to go, drivers. Rifkin holding on to that top spot. Finn in the two, Chaplin with a little bit of a tap of the pipe coming through the S's. Gonna lose, now nine tenths back from Finn. Rifkin maintaining that top spot. Finn in the two, Chaplin three, Horn four, Kaufman five. Horn starting to close in that battle for a second as they go over the tabletop. Fend in the two, Chaplin three, Horn four. Fend with a mistake by the driver's stand. Puts Chaplin up to the two, Horn three, Fend down to the four now. Foot in the five, Kaufman six, Cavalier seven, Sontag eight, Oliveris nine, Schimmel ten. Now careful on the step down, careful on the step down. Pick your fin back up to that two foot in the three now. Battle for that second spot around the bank. Fin in the two foot three, coming to the driver's stand. With a minute 50 left to go, Rifkin five seconds up on Finden the two foot three, Horn four. Minute 45 left to go, drivers. Rifkin working the bank, getting ready to come up on a little bit of traffic, but we get the battle for a second between Fend and Foot. Let's make it seven tenths of a second. They work up to the driver's stand, and oh, Finn with them another mistake. That's going to put foot up to the two. Minute 15 left to go. Finn in the three, uh, Cobman four, Horn five, Chaplin six, Cavalieri seven, Sontag eight, Oliveris nine, Schimmel ten. With as we approach the final minute, Rifkin now six seconds up on foot in the two, Finn three. Chaplin making an amazing pass on Horn up to that four spot. Battle for that second spot around the bank. Finn trying to close that gap, eight tenths with 35 seconds left to go. Coming off the stage. Uh, Chaplin with a mistake coming up onto the stage. Just gonna put Horn back up to the four. We have 20 seconds left to go, drivers. We got a big battle for four, five, or five, six, seven, eight. Foot now 1.3 up on Finn Horn in the four with less than five. As the clock, keep going, keep going, keep going. As they come off the stage here. Foot's gonna finish in the second, Finn three, Horn four. Chaplin in the five, Cavalier six, Sontag seven. Kaufman eight, Oliveris nine, Schimmel in the 10, all stop. Spencer Rifkin's gonna win A1 for Mod two wheel drive buggy. Brandon Foot in the two, Dakota Finn in the three. There's three cars over to Tech. Horn four, Chaplin five, Cavalier six, Sontag seven, Kaufman eight, Oliveris nine. Schimmel in the 10.
All right, get my drivers back into more experience. Spots. And and trucks. Trucks. Go ahead and roll them out. We're here at the 2023 Raw Off-Road Carpet Nationals, brought to you by J Concepts and Beachline Raceway. We just had the J Concepts two-wheel uh, two two drive mod buggy. So that's a Rivkin. You and uh, Fen took, went out uh, one and two. I mean, he was ahead of you. He made that mistake. You capitalized, and you never looked back. Yeah, I mean, look, we're, we're so close out there. One little bobble can really put you behind. Obviously, Dakota had a couple more mistakes, and my teammate Brandon Foote had a hell of a run, um, starting seventh on the grid. So um, awesome to see some teammates get in there, uh, put their head down. I had a flawless run. Uh, my two-wheel drive towards the end of qualifying uh, yesterday was freaking unbelievable. We've been working our butts off for the last year trying to catch Dakota with his speed. And um, I feel like we're, we're close. I feel like, you know, we're getting some momentum and obviously we're able to sh let it shine in A1 and there's going to be a lot more battling going on, so I know it's not over yet. Yeah, are you looking to make any changes again in A2? Looking for anything more from your car? I'm hoping to get some lunch before I, we race again, so. That would be nice. Yeah, that would be good. Well, congratulations. Good luck in A2, man. Yeah, thanks. That's Spencer Rifkin, you're winner of the J Concepts two-wheel drive mod buggy. We're getting back to the action here at Breachline. All right, starting in the one spot, it's going to be Doug LaRiviere. Starting in two, it's going to be Jeff Stackwitz. In the three, Kyle Hallberg. In the four, Chuck Judd. In the five, Chad Juan. In the six, Brian Weirich. In the seven, John Schmidt. In the eight, Kyle Chaser. In the nine, Jason Coleman. And in the ten, it's going to be Mike Weiser. All right, All drivers, right. Grid, grid is set. Grid, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your 13-5 stadium truck, A1. Great start. Careful around the stage, uh, trying to pull. We got Rivier in that top spot. Stackwitz in the two. No, I'm sorry, Holberg in the two. Stackwitz in the th three, 11 four. Top three working around the bank. Then we got 11 in the four. Newaller five, chasing five. Newaller six. Coleman seven. Gazer eight. Break at nine, Wyrick in the ten. Doug LaRiviere in that top spot, four tenths up. They work over the dry, uh, tabletop onto the stage. Battle for that top spot. Holmberg right in the back tailgate of LaRiviere. It's three tenths of a second is the separation. Stackwitz right there waiting for them to make any kind of mistake to take advantage as they work up onto the stage. Doug in that top spot, Kyle two. Down the straightaway they work. Minute and a half down, three and a half to go, drivers. Careful on the stage, we got your leaders coming up on the stage, coming off the stage, one, two, and three. Four is right there as well. Four is right there as well, thank you. As they work around the bank, four is coming right there as well. Thank you. Meanwhile, up front, one, two, three, up on the stage together. Let's make it nine, 10 separated top three trucks. Last time by with two down, three to go. Doug holding on the top spot, Kyle two, Jeff in the three. Oh, Jeff rolling in the triangle, triangle. Marshals, watch your corner, not the race, please. Up front, dug in that top spot, Kyle two, 11 up to that three spot.
as your leaders are working through the S section. Coleman Prickett, the next, the two next car, two car, trucks you see will be the leaders. And in front of the driver saying they go. So now we got Holmberg in that top spot. Doug in that two, making that pass around the triangle last time by. Now they're working two minutes left to go. Can Kyle hold on to this top spot? Oh, he gets catching the pipe coming off the tabletop. That's going to put Doug back up to the top spot. Jovi right there as well. One, two, three, down the straightaway they go. Around the bank. Over the roller. Oh, Doug getting on two wheels, able to hold on to that top spot. Kyle cross, getting crossed up. Heading to the driver's stand. That puts Jovi up to the two. Kyle in the three. One, two, three. Working through the S's down the straightaway. They go a minute and a half to go, drivers. Doug now a half a second up on Jovi in the two. Three tenths back is Kyle in that three spot. Oh, Jovi getting crossed up. Coming in front of the driver's stand. That puts Kyle back up to the two spot. Jovi into the three. Minute 15 left to go. Doug still holding on to the one. Kyle two, Jovi three. They're coming up on the stage, getting ready to come up on some traffic. Next two vehicles will be, will be second and third. Thank you very much. Down the straightaway they work. Doug now one second up on Kyle in the two, Jovi in the three. Jovi nine tenths back from Kyle as your leader's working up on the stage, coming up on traffic. Orange and white, thank you. Second and third will be right there as well. Your leaders now through the bank. As Kyle closes it in on Doug as they work traffic coming through the tabletop. That is your next three trucks are top three. Thank you. Oh, Kyle getting crossed up on the step down. That's going to put Jovi right on the back bumper. Give Doug a little bit of breathing room with 15 seconds left to go. Oh, Jovi making a nice pass through the triangle. Unable to hold it. Now back onto the, over the tabletop. They get together a little, just a little bit through the S's. They're going to get one more lap in here. And Jovi on two wheels through the sweeper, working over the tabletop around the, or the roller now to the driver stand and over the tabletop. Doug now working through the S's, going to cross the line to win A1. Two is still up in the air as they go across the line. Jovi in the two, Kyle three. And all done, all stopped. Doug Rivier is going to win your A1 for 13-5 Stadium Truck. Jovi Levin in the two. Kyle Holmberg in the three. Just Stackwitz four. Kyle Chase in five. Chad Newweiler six. Jason Coleman seven. John Prick eight. Mike Grazer nine. And Brian Waywick in the ten. Doug, Jovi, Kyle, such your cars down in tech. Doug, come over here, please. Raw Off-Road Corporate Nationals brought to you by J Concepts and Beachline Raceway. Uh, we're here with our two uh, truck, stock truck winner and Canada's favorite stock racer, <laughs> Doug Laverrier. Hey, good race, man. Yeah, thanks. Uh, truck was really good. I went out on some older tires that run just to get a kind of a safe run in. If I, even if I didn't like get a win, I just kind of like I had a good point to bank off of, and I knew they were safe. And now I can go for some bit more speed. What you gonna do to your truck then? Just change so, the tires. Okay. How about uh, your other classes? How are you doing? Uh, how are you making up with that? Uh, two went pretty good. I mean, I just made a small bobble and ended up fourth. And then truck or four wheels have been a bit of a struggle bus all weekend. So, kind of working on the two classes that are up front right now and trying to 
takes home two, a couple titles. Well, congratulations and good luck and do it for Canada. Thank you. All right, that's Doug Leverrier. He just won 13-5 uh, stadium truck. We're getting back. We got four-wheel drive mod coming up, guys. him grid it. All right, driver's grid is set. Grid is locked. My who's going out to seven? Okay. All right. All right. Drivers, grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your modified four wheel drive buggy A1, brought to you by Wits Racing Products. All right, we have. Fend in that top spot. Tessman too. Battle for that top spot. Working over the roller. Now coming in front of driver's stand. Oh, Tessman catching the cone. Careful in front of the driver's stand. And onto the stage. We got one upside down on the stage. Careful. Coming off the stage, guys. We are clear. That's going to put Fend out in that top spot. 1.8 up on Sontag in the two. Now that battle foot, Kaufman, Tessman, Cavallari around the triangle. Now in front of driver's stand. Oh, Cavallari catching the cone. Foot in the four. Or Kaufman four, foot five, Chaplin six, Tessman seven, Cavallari eight, Rifkin nine, er, nine and Olivares ten. That battle is for that four spot. Meanwhile, Horn closing it in on Sontag for the two as they work in front of the driver's stand over the tabletop. Meanwhile, Dakota Finn has checked out four and a half seconds up with a minute 40 down, 3.20 left to go. Sontag two, Horn three, Kaufman four. Oh, we got one, careful coming onto the stand, or stage. Horn up to the two, Sontag having that trouble. He's in the three now, he's got Chaplin right behind him. So battle for that third spot in front of the driver's stand. Uh, Sontag having troubles, oh, Horn having troubles on, coming off the stage. That's gonna put Chaplin up to the two spot. Horn in the three, Tessman four, Kaufman five, Cavalieri six, Sontag seven, Olivares eight foot nine, Rifkin in the 10. Meanwhile, up front, front, Fend with an eight second advantage. Not your battle is down the straightaway. Chaplin, Horn, Tessman, Kaufman, Calvary, Sontag. In front of the driver's stand, they work. We got Chaplin in the two, Horn three, Tessman four. Coming down the step down, careful, stay low on the stage, we are clear. As we are 210 left to go, drivers. Chaplin two, Horn three, Tessman in that four spot. Down the straightaway, they work two, three, four. With two minutes left to go, Finn now nine and a half seconds up in that top spot. 
He works around the bank here now, coming off the stage. Horn in the two. I'm sorry, Chaplin in the two, Horn in the three. Tessman four. Tessman now on the backside of Horn for that third spot. As they work in front of the driver's stand over the tabletop, up onto the stage. Tessman take a look on the inside, unable to make the pass as Horn closed the door, coming off the stage down the straight away they work. Now coming around the bank. Tessman all over the back wing of Horn as they work in front of the driver's stand over the tabletop. Oh, Horn on two wheels on top of the stage, able to hold on to it. Tessman taking a look on the inside, trying to cross him over, unable to do it down the straightaway. He is checking, seeing what gear diff is. He's running, running so close as they are now in front of the driver's stand. Over the tabletop they work. Tessman. Tessman in that three spot. Now Horn in the four with 45 seconds left to go. Drivers. Fans still in the one. Chaplin two. Tessman three. Horn four as they go down the straightaway. Tessman in that three. Horn four as they work over the roller coming to the driver's stand. We are 30 seconds left to go, drivers. Uh, stay low on the stage. Low on the stage. Low on the stage. We are clear. That battle for that second spot over the Berm, they or er, bang now in front of driver stand coming over the tabletop. 15 seconds left goes. Tessman in a little trouble over after the tabletop. Horn was able to get by, but Tessman right back. So the battle for that second crossing the line. There's third, I'm sorry, crossing the line with less than five on the clock. That's the race clock. Everybody keep going, keep going, keep going. Careful in front of driver stand. Coming off the stage, we looking for three more to finish up. And all stop. Dakota Finn's going to take for modified four wheel buggy A1. Brock Champlin, Champlin into two. Ty Tessman into three. Dakota Brock, Ty, you set your cars down in tech. Dakota, come on over here for your interview, please. Aiden Horn into four. Tater Sontag. Carver and dirt. Um, me and Kevin did a lot of testing and we wanted to get it exactly how uh, how I run it on the track. So you guys can order the motor up, get it out there, and uh, that's what I run on dirt, it's what I run on carpet, and it should be uh, good to go, ready to rip. Welcome to the 2023 Raw Off-Road Corporate Nationals here at Beachline Raceway, brought to you by J Concepts. We're here with your Wits four-wheel drive mod A1 winner, Dakota Fan, the Phenom. Man, you killed it. Yeah, four-wheel drive has been awesome. Uh, there was a lot of carnage behind me, so I didn't, after I think the second lap, I didn't really have anyone within a couple seconds of me and was able to uh, just do my lines and uh, try to stay consistent. Like I said, it's uh, it's really tough out there, especially trying to line up that double at a couple of close calls there with the cone. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, clean up the rest of the way, try to get a better uh, two-wheel drive A2 and A3 and see what we can do. Cool. Um, you had a little bobble there in, in A1 of mod. You made up for it this time. Any different? Any plans to go into different to A1, A2 of two-wheel drive? Uh, I'm just going to kind of redo my shocks, make sure there's no pressure in them, and just try to uh, get that consistency back. All right. Well, congratulations and good luck in A2s. Cool. Thank you. All right. That's a good fan of Phenom. He's your winner of the Wits A1 mod four-wheel drive buggy. All right, if I can get a couple of volunteers for this race, please. A couple of volunteer marshals for this race, please. Go ahead, roll them out, drivers. Guys from the last race. So if I can get a couple of volunteers, please, for this race. All right, Sean, you're going to make it.
And all right, drivers, let's bring them to the grid. All right, uh, you just sit. can you go over to the stairs for me? Thank you. Starting in the one is going to be Richard Lewis, and the two, Sean Alfonso. Yeah, over there for me, please. please. Go to the stairs for me. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. All right. All right, drivers, grid is set. Hey, Todd, can you go up here to the stage for me, please? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We're just using volunteers for this race. Thank you. All right, drivers, grid is set, grid is locked. The next time you hear will be the start of your short course. B main. We got Richard Lewis out in that top spot. Sean Alf Alfonso in the two. Oh, Lewis rolling it. Alfonso now up to that top spot. We got Lewis now up to that top spot. Alfonso in the two. They work through the bank. Eight tenths was last time by Alfonso taking a look on the inside. Come to the roller, unable to take advantage. Now they go over the tabletop. Oh, Lewis having some trouble over the tabletop. That's going to put Alfonso back up to the top spot. Lewis down to the two. Working the S's now down the straightaway. They go. Sean Alfonso up to that top spot. Uh, get loose through the sweeper. That puts Lewis back up to the one. Alfonso in the two. Alfonso getting a little crossed up. Having some trouble over the tabletop. Got lucky, landed on his wheels. Oh, Lewis having some trouble through the S's. Now they're battling it out. Down the straightaway they go. Lewis in that top spot. Alfonso, two, we're a minute 45 down, 3.15 left to go. Lewis going wide through the sweeper. Oh, Alfonso catching a little bit of the pipe. Getting crossed up. That's going to give Lewis a little bit of breathing room. Down the straightaway they work, Lewis in the one, Alfonso in the two. Over the roller they work, eight tenths was the separation last time by. Alfonso tried to take a look on the inside coming off this tabletop, unable to make the pass as we are halfway drivers. Lewis going wide through the sweeper. That's going to allow Alfonso to close that gap again. Now Alfonso right on the back bumper of Lewis in front of the driver's stand as they go over the tabletop. Alfonso up to the top spot. Lewis down to two. Oh, Alfonso having some trouble coming off the stage. Able to hold on to that top spot, however, as we are. Two minutes left to go down the straightaway. They work. Alfonso one and Lewis in the two. Sean Alfonso holding on to that top spot. Richard Lewis in the two. Oh, Alfonso having trouble on the tabletop. That's going to allow Lewis to move up to that top spot. Minute 35 left to go, drivers. Uh, Alfonso getting loose through the sweeper. 
Trying to close that gap. It was two seconds last time by, oh, catching the pipe coming out of the triangle. Lewis having a little bit of trouble on the tabletop, able to keep it going. That's where a minute 10 to go, drivers. That's 2.3 seconds that time by as we are in the final minute for our 13.5 two-wheel drive short course truck. This is gonna be the last heat. We'll be taking a lunch break after this. Race 18. We'll go back at with 35 seconds left to go. 12.30. So race 18 will go back at 12.30. Alfonso back at the top. So I catch a little bit of the curbing. We are 20 seconds left to go. They are nose to tail coming off the stage. Looking for the inside. Alfonso making the pass through the S's. Down the straightaway he goes. Less than 10. This is going to be their final lap. Oh, Lewis getting loose going into the bank. Going to allow Alfonso with a little bit of breathing room. As they work, Alfonso over the tabletop, up onto the stage. Lewis trying to catch it now. Alfonso catches a little bit of pipe coming off the stage on it, but able to keep it going, working through the S's. Lewis going on two wheels, trying to catch him. Down the straight away they go. Sean Alfonso's gonna win your 35 short course truck. B main, Richard Lewis is gonna finish in the two. All right. Sean, come on over here. Take your trucks to tech and Sean, come on over here. Welcome to the 2023 Raw Off-Road Corporate Nationals here at the beautiful Beachline Raceway. What to you by Jay Concepts. We just had Sean Alfonso, who has won also a excellent Tar Marshall Award this weekend. Just won your B man, man. Good job. Congratulations on everything you accomplished this weekend. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I learned a lot. I usually race clay, and this is my first time racing carpet, so I was able to learn a lot this whole weekend, and it's such a great track. I also want to thank uh, Felix Hobbies uh, for bringing me out and giving me the opportunity to have some fun with all of you. Sweet. Well, congratulations. Shout out to Felix Hobbies, and thank you for doing all the time, Marshall, and over the weekend. Thank you so much, man. Good you job. have a good one. Thank you. Good job. That's Sean Alfonso. That's your B-Man. We're getting ready for some more racing here at Beach Line, and uh, we'll get back to the action. Hey guys, it's Dakota Fenn here. Uh, we're talking about the Phenom line of addition motors for Carver and Dirt. Um, me and Kevin did a lot of testing and we wanted to get it exactly how, uh, how I run it on the track. So you guys can order the motor up, get it out there, and uh, that's what I run on dirt, it's what I run on carpet, and it should be uh, good to go, ready to rip. Believe the hype, as Witz Racing Products has all you need to get RC cars dialed in with Hyperglide ceramic bearings and other high-performance products for the competitive RC racer. From the shop to the track, increase drivetrain, reduce friction. Hyperglide along to just go faster with Witz Racing Products.
right, hope everybody enjoyed their lunch. It is time for race 18 to start heading to Tech. Race 18 to Tech. All right, so my marshals for race 18 is going to be Alfonso Lewis, race 17. Also, Aiden Horn. Julian. Robbie Michaels to the hobby shop, please. Robbie Michaels to the hobby shop. Brandon Food will be a marshal. Aaron Kaufman will be a marshal. Did you guys start coming out here to your marshal spots, please? <laughs> Race 18 should be in or through tech. Our modified stadium truck. So I'll need Julian Olivares out here to turn Marshall, Brandon Foote, Aaron Kaufman, Aiden Horn. Let's get my Marshalls out here. Oh, and Ty Tessman.
Once you've went through tech, set your vehicles down, head up to the stand. Race 18. Race 18, go ahead, head up to the stand. Drivers, head up to the stand. Get my marshals, I need my marshals in place. My marshals in place, let's go marshals. And I'm going to need, it looks like I'm going to need a couple of volunteers as well, please. So if you guys can help us out. Sean was out here. Where's Sean? Oh, there he is. All right, can you go over to the stool for me there, Sean? Mm -hmm. um, go to eight. Er. Okay, um, go over to the two spot for me. And I need somebody to cover the stairs. I need a marshal to cover the stairs for me, please. Thank you. All right, this is Modified Stadium Truck A2. Starting in the seventh spot is gonna be Quincy Atkins. Starting in the sixth from Grand, Bla uh, Grand Blaine, Michigan. Driving a TLR with Pro-Line tires, Phantom servo, Pro-Line body, Phantom motor, Phantom batteries, sand wall radio and a phantom speed controller his sponsors include tlr phantom proline horizon hobbies team brood vision racing rc1 bradley finish line designs mkm graphic and design ahrc dbx films special thanks thanks to the entire tlr team for the help and good times your sixth place qualifier is tater sontag Starting in the five spot from New York City. His chassis is a WRC with a high tech servo, Hobby Wing motor, Hobby Wing speed controller. His sponsors include One Up Racing, Team Shrek, Send It RC. Your fifth place qualifier is Juan Lopez. Starting fourth from Huntington Beach, California. Driving a Schumacher with J Concepts tires, Savox servo, Schumacher body, Hobby Wing motor, Sun Pedal battery, Sandwall radio, and a Hobby Wing speed controller. His sponsors include Schumacher, Hobby Wing, Raw Speed, Savox, Sun, Sun Pedal, One Up Racing, Stick It One, and Dark Side Designs. Your fourth place qualifier is Ryan Cavallari. Starting third from Salt Lake City, Utah. His chassis is a Schumacher Storm with J Concepts tires, MKS servo, J Concepts body, LRP motor, LRP battery, and an LRP speed controller. His sponsors include Schumacher, LRP, J Concepts, MKS, Wits Racing Products, Core RC, Trish Bits, Easy Customs, painting, Paintings, S&D Design, Eaton's Inner Mountain Raceway. Special thanks to my friends, family, and sponsors for the love and support. Your third place qualifier is Brock Chaplin. 
starting second. From Angola, Indiana. With a uh, driving a TLR chassis with J Concepts tires, Spectrum servo, J Concepts battery, Trinity Phenom motor, Trinity battery, Spectrum radio, and Pro Performance RC speed controller. His sponsors include TLR, Trinity, J Concepts, Spectrum, Pro Performance RC, Ultimate RC, RevTech, Beach RC, Horizon Hobbies, Nitro Lux, Bradley Fine Designs. Stick at one racing. Special thanks to my wife, Thomas Tran, the whole JC team, and everyone back home for all the support. Your second place qualifier is Dakota Finn. <laughs> Your modified stadium truck TQ hails from Surprise, Arizona, with a team associated T6.2. With J Concepts tires, Savox servo, J Concepts body, Hobby Wing motor, Protec ba battery, Futaba radio, and Hobby Wing speed controller. His sponsors include Team Associated, Hobby Wing, J Concepts, A Main Hobbies, Protec, Savox, Futaba, Reds, VP, Hobby Action, Factory Team, Makita, Kicker, and Live RC. I want to thank my dad and the whole J Concepts team for all the help and support. Your modified truck TQ is Spencer Rifkin. All right, drivers, go ahead and roll them out. Shut straight away down, straight away is closed. All right, let's bring them to your starting grids. Drivers, grid is set, grid is locked. Dakota Finn took A1. Drivers, your A2 will begin on the tone. Rifkin out in that top spot, Finn in the two. Oh. Up front. Rifkin hold on to that top spot. Finn just two tenths back as they work the bank coming over the roller. Now in front of the driver's stand, they go. Rifkin still in that top spot. Finn in the two. Chaplin three. Cavalier having a rough first lap down to that seventh spot. Sontag in now four, Lopez five, Cavalieri six. Now Atkins seven, battle for that lead coming off the stage. Now down the step down in through the S section. That of Rifkin and Finn. Through the sweeper they go now around the bank, over the roller and around the triangle to coming to the driver's stand. Two tenths last time by Rifkin. Looking to extend it out to A3. Uh, 
in with a little bit of mistake coming in front of the driver's stand and then again on the tabletop, giving Rifkin a little bit of breathing room. It was six tenths last time by. Now one and a half seconds is the separation. Chaplin in that three spot as your leader's getting ready to come up on some traffic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Third place will be there. All right, thank you. One, two, and three with a breakaway. Careful okay, coming on the step down. At the step down, we are clear. Or your Spencer Rivkin down the straightaway in that top spot. Dakota Finn, 1.6 seconds back. As your leader is now working towards the driver stand over the tabletop, second place over the tabletop. Got one truck in between them now. Finn gets by that truck as your leader going to come up on some traffic next in the next lap or two. Got a high on the straightaway, high on the straightaway, high on the straightaway. Straightaway is clear. Rivkin in that top spot. Finn 1.2 back now as he's starting to make his move as we are just past halfway, drivers. Your leaders working through the S section, down the straightaway. They go, it was 1.2 last time by. Make it nine tenths. Finn on the hunt, trying to close that gap as we're approaching two minutes left to go. Rivkin still holding on that top shot, down the step down. Finn down the step down through the S's. Both of them go nine tenths last time by. Let's make it eight tenths now. Finn slinging that truck around, trying to get every little bit out of it as he's trying to catch Rivkin with a minute 45 left to go. It's eight tenths last time by. Let's make it a half a second now. Finn on the hunt. Rivkin still holding on to that top spot over the tabletop onto the stage they go. Coming off the stage down the step down. In through the S's. Chaplin in that three spot. Cavalier four, Sontag five, Lopez six, Atkins seven. But up from the battle continues. Six tenths was the last time by was the separation. Over the tabletop they work now. Down the stage. Through the S's down the straightaway. Three tenths last time by. Now they are right there. Fend all over the backside of Rifkin now. Coming up on the stage, taking a look on the inside, unable to make the pass, coming down in through the S's with one minute left to go. Your battle for that top spot. Rivkin trying to extend it out to A3. Fend trying to wrap it up after taking A1. As they come down the stage, Rivkin won. Fend taking a look on the inside, bumper to bumper, wheel to wheel. Finn now up to that top spot. Now Finn getting crossed up in front of the driver's stand, but able to hold on to that top spot. 28 seconds left to go. Does Rifkin have a counter for Finn as they work down the straightaway around the bank? 20 seconds on the clock, drivers. Finn in the one, Rifkin in the two. As they work over the tabletop, go careful, cars leaders coming up on you, thank you. Through the S's they work. Down the straightaway, less than five on the race clock. This is gonna be their final lap. Dakota Finn over the roller, Rifkin over the roller. Coming in front of the driver's stand now, over the tabletop, onto the stage. I don't know if they're gonna catch the traffic or not. They should not, but Finn now down the straightaway. He's gonna take it and win your modified stadium truck A2. Rifkin in the two. Chaplin three, Calvillary four. Song tag five. Uh, Lopez, you're gonna finish up? Are you, is it dead? It's dead, all right. At Lopez in the six, Atkins in the seven.
Welcome to the 2023 Raw Corporate Nationals here at the Beachline Raceway. Brought to you by J Concepts. We just had our set uh, two wheel drive mod brought to you by Team Screen. Uh, sorry, two wheel drive stadium truck brought to you by Team Screen. Dakota Fenny wrapped it up in two A main. Yeah, it uh, had a pretty good start and had a small little bobble there over the tabletop. Uh, like I said earlier, truck is really hard landing those jumps and was able to uh, kind of dial it in the rest of the time and landed uh, landed smoothly. And the uh, truck was carrying a lot of corner speed out there and the high speed stuff um, and like the kind of like the medium speed stuff. So it was uh, trying to maximize that and then uh, kind of had a little opening there and uh, went for it. And we were uh, driving tires over top of each other. But uh, yeah, it feels good to uh, get it done and we'll uh, concentrate on uh, two wheel and four wheel now. Yeah, he left the door open right there on that uh, that corner right there. I saw you force your way in. It was a great pass, a little touching, a little, little rubbing, but that's racing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was uh, it was clean, I think, and, uh, you know, he raced me back really clean as well, so it was always a good race. All right, well, congratulations on winning uh, uh, Mod Stadium truck. Uh, I don't know how many national champions that is. I'm sure you can you can give me a count. But uh, congratulations and good luck in two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Cool, thank you. All right, that's your Dakota fan, your 2023 sta uh, Mod Stadium truck champion. Trinity Speed Controller. His sponsors include Team Associated Trinity, Trinity J Concept, TDK, Mod, Boom Graphics, NorCal Hobbies, SF Threads. A huge thank you to my amazing parents and all of my sponsors for all the help and support. Your ninth place qualifier is Jovi Levin. <laughs> Starting eighth from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. With a Vision Racing Chassis, Proline Tires, Trinity Servo, Proline Body, Trinity Motor, Trinity Battery, Sandwall Radio, and Trinity Speed Controller. His sponsors include TLR, Proline, Trinity, Horizon Hobbies, Vision Racing, Team Brood, <coughs> Stacked RC. Thanks to Kevin, Scott, and everyone else for all their help this weekend. Your eighth place qualifier is Jeff Stackowitz. Start, uh, starting seventh from Markleville, Indiana, driving a Yokomo with a Phantom Servo, Phantom Motor, Phantom Battery, Phantom Speed Controller. His sponsors include DRC, BHR. Thank you to my dad and grandma, granddad. Starting seventh is Dustin Fox. Starting sixth from Iowa, with a TLR chassis, a Proline tires, Trinity servo, Proline body, Trinity motor, Trinity battery, Sandwall radio, and Trinity speed controller. His sponsors are TLR, Proline, Trinity, Boom RC, Easy Customs, LinkedIn RC. Huge thanks to Vision RC and the whole TLR team and everyone that supports me. Your sixth place qualifier is Nate Sutherland. Starting fifth from Champions Gate, Florida, driving an X-Ray with MKS Servo, Trinity Motor, Trinity Battery, Sandwall Radio, and Trinity Speed Control. His sponsors include X-Ray, Hootie, Trinity, One Up Racing, MKS, Sandwall. Special thanks to Kevin, Jason, Gordy, or Gord, Ty, and all the friends and family for the help this weekend. Your fifth place qualifier is Kai Goff. Starting fourth from Claremont, Florida, 
driving a team associated with J Concepts Tires Protect RC Body, or Servo, I'm sorry, J Concepts Body, Hobby Wing Motor Protect Battery, Sandwall Radio, and Hobby Wing Speed Controller. His, his sponsors include J Concepts, Team Associated, Hobby Wing, Protect, RC, A Main Hobbies, Factory, Factory Team, Live RC, Boom RC, Paint by Smiley. Big thanks to my dad, Jason, Poole, Hannah, Julian, Baby, Kenneth, the Manchesters, and all the JC drivers and customers. Your fourth place qualifier is Tyler Hooks. Starting third from Anoka, Minnesota, from a team associated B64, driving a B team associated B64 with Jace Concepts Tires, Reedy uh, Servo, J Concepts Body, Reedy Motor, Reedy Battery, Sandwall Radio, Reedy Speed Controller. His sponsors include Team Associated, Factory Team, Reedy Power, J Concepts Mod, Empire Insurance, FTR Raceway, and thanks to everyone else who helped me get here today. Your third place qualifier is Kyle Holmberg. <laughs> Starting second from Rancho Cordova, California. Driving a, a team associated with J Concepts Tires, Team Powers Servo, J Concepts Body, Team Powers Motor, Team Powers Battery, Sandwall Radio, and a Team Powers Speed Controller. His sponsors include Team Associated, J Concepts, Team Powers, Wits Racing Products, Ultimate Racing, Cheater Racing, NorCal Hobbies, Auburn RC, AHRC. Special thanks to my parents and sponsors for all the love and support. Your second place qualifier is Doug LaRiviere. La and your TQ from Davie, Florida, driving a Schumacher chassis with a Meredith Motorsports motor and Meredith Motorsports battery. His sponsors include Schumacher, Meredith Motorsports, True Source Distribution, Hot Race Tires, True Form, Wits Racing Products, Easy Customs, Easy Power, Alessi Tuned USA, Beachline Raceway, Beach RC, Superior Hobbies, Beijing Palace, and Jackie Treehorn Productions. Special thanks to Robbie Michael, Troy Meredith, TJ Bradley, Dave Ramos, Ray Derrick, and all of the Beachline locals for their support. Your 1752 wheel drive buggy TQ is Daniel Chavez. Uh, all right, drivers, go ahead and roll them out. All right, we're going to close straight away down. Straight away is closed. Take them over to your grid spots. Daniel Chavez took A1. Looking to lock it up here in A2. All right, driver's grid is set. Who is in my five spot? He's in the seven. All right, drivers, grid is set, grid is 
Wait, who's at my one spot? Who's at the stairs? Marshall, my one, the one. Gavin, Marshall, right there for me. Yeah. So stand up. All right, drivers on the tone. We got Chavez out in the whole shot. Got a had a great start. Drivers, great start. Chavez in the one, Louis Riviera two, Holmgren three, Holmberg three, Hooks four, Golf five. Chavez still holding on to that top spot. Louis air in the two, Hol Holmberg three, Hooks four, Golf five, Sutherland six, Fox seven, Stockwitz eight, Levin nine, Moran ten. Uh, your leader, Daniel Chavez, on the step downs, now working in through the S's. Second place, uh, Doug right there in the two. Daniel one, Doug two, Kyle three. Daniel now 1.1 up on Doug in the two. Doug eight tenths up on Kyle in that three spot. They work in through the S's. Kyle starting to close that gap on Doug as they work in through the bank. So we got two and three with Tyler Hooks in the four right there as well. Chavez starting to spread his lead now 1.6. Doug in the two, Kyle three, Tyler four, Nate five, Kai six, Dustin seven, Jeff eight, Sammy nine, Jovi ten. Kyle got by Doug now over the bank. We got two, three, four, nose and tail over the roller. In front of the driver's stand, two, three, and four. Kyle in that two spot, Doug in the three. Kyle took second in a1 with two down, three to go, drivers. Doug trying to find a way back around Kyle as they work over the tabletop onto the stage. Kyle hold on to that two spot, Doug in that three, Tyler in the four, Nate in the five, Dustin six. Meanwhile, Daniel Chavez out to a three, second advantage. Two, three, four, up onto the stage, coming off the stage, down the step downs, in through the S section. Tyler on the backside of Doug, trying to find a way around. Now in front of the driver's stand, that battle for that second spot. We got two, three, four, and five. Nate starting to catch up and creating that battle himself. So two, three, four, five, working over the roller, coming to the driver's stand. Over the tabletop, they work. Uh, careful on, on the stage, careful on the stage. Hold it, hold it, hold it. If you don't hold, you're gonna get a stop and go. Got Daniel in that top spot, Kyle two, Doug three, Dustin in the four. Kyle and Doug, Kyle took, a, or Doug took a look on the inside over Kyle, through the sweeper, unable to make the pass now as they work in front of the driver's stand, coming over the tabletop. Second and third, Doug took another quick look, unable to do it, down the straightaway they go. As we're in the final minute, Kyle in that two spot, Doug in the three. Meanwhile, Chavez four and a half seconds up on this battle for a second. Kyle trying to put a little bit of separation now. It was three tenths, let's make it six tenths now between second and third. Careful in front of the driver's stand, or clear. That battle for a second spot in through the S's, 30 seconds left to go. Down the straightaway they go in through the sweeper and around the bank. 
Kyle holding on that two spot, dug in the three. 20 seconds left to go, drivers. Through the S's, Doug trying to find every way around. Less than 10 on the race clock. Kyle, Doug, Dustin right there as well. Coming off the stage, Kyle holding on. That's the clock through the S as they go down the straightaway. Kyle's going to hold on to the two. Doug in the three. Dustin four. Nate's going to go in the five. Tyler six. Jeff seven. Joby eight. Sammy nine. And Daniel Chavez crosses the line to wrap up your 17 5 buggy. A win. Cha Roar national champion. Believe the hype, as Witz Racing Products has all you need to get RC cars dialed in with Hyperglide ceramic bearings and other high-performance products for the competitive RC racer. From the shop to the track, increase drivetrain, reduce friction. Hyperglide along to just go faster with Witz Racing Products. We're here at the 2023 Raw Off-Road Carpet Nationals, brought to you by J Concepts and Beachline RC, and we have crowned a new 17.5 two-wheel drive champion, brought to you by Team Screen. Congratulations, Dan Chavez. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Feels really good. Yeah, man. Hey, you dialed. You won this. You was you got lights to again. Schumacher's really agreeing with you. Yeah, yeah, the car's been feeling really good. You know, we put in a lot of work before this at Michigan and Virginia, just trying to get the setup right, and everything felt good. We just cruised to a win. Are you going to repeat in four-wheel drive? I'm going to try my best. The, there's a lot of fast guys. There's a lot of fast guys here this weekend. I really have a lot of respect for all of them. So I'm just going to go out there, do my best, and see where I end up. Okay, man. Felice Dadas, and there's your 2023 17.5 uh, two-wheel drive champion. Thank you. Good job, man. I need a marshal over in the eighth spot. Thank you. All right. Coming up next. All right, our A2 for modified two-wheel drive buggy. Starting in the 10th spot from Virginia Beach, Virginia, driving a TLR with Proline tires, MKS servo, Proline body, Trinity motor, Trinity batteries, Sandwall radio, and Trinity speed controller. His sponsors include TLR, Trinity, Proline, Wits Racing, MKS, Bradley Fine Designs, Coastal RC, Hoosier RC, Sandwall, Privateer RC, Jonathan RC, and RC Machine. Huge thanks to all my friends, family, and sponsors for all their support. Thanks to Tom on the wrenches, Kevin on the power, Thomas Dakota Tater, and everyone else for, for the help in making a fun, eventful week. Your 10th place qualifier is Brennan Schimmel. Starting ninth from Huntington Beach, California, driving a Schumacher with raw speed tires, Savox servo, raw speed body, hobby wing motor, sun, sun pedal battery, sand wall radio, and a hobby wing speed controller. His sponsors include Schumacher, hobby wing, raw speed, Savox, sun pedal, one up racing, stick at one, and dark side designs. Your ninth place qualifier is Ryan Cavallari. Starting eighth from Grand Blanc, Michigan, 
Driving a TLR with Proline tires, Phantom servo, Proline body, Phantom motor, Phantom battery, sandwall radio, and Phantom speed controller. His sponsors include TLR, Phantom, Proline, Horizon Hobby, Team Brood, Vision Racing, RC1, Bradley Fine Designs, MKN Graphic and Designs, HRC, DBX Film. Special thanks to the entire TLR team for their help and good times. Your eighth place qualifier is Tater Suntag. <laughs> Starting in the seventh spot from Venita, Oregon. Driving a team associated chassis with J Concepts tires, Reedy Servo, J Concepts body, Reedy motor, Reedy battery, Sandwall radio, and a Reedy speed controller. His sponsors include Team Associated, J Concepts, Reedy, Factory Team. Thanks to Brent Thinky and my dad for all their help and support. Your seventh place qualifier is Brandon Foot. Race number, er, starting in the sixth spot from Faustin Lake, New York, with a driving a TLR chassis with Proline tires, Spectrum radio, or Spectrum servo, Proline body, Hobby Wing motor, Trinity battery, Hobby Wing speed controller. His sponsors include TLR, Horizon Hobby, Proline, Spectrum, Hobby Wing, Trinity, Stick It One, Mod, and Aereo, Team Brood. Variety Water. I'd like to thank my sponsors, friends, and family for all their support. Thank you to Beachline, Roar, everyone who made this event possible, and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Your sixth place qualifier is Aaron Kothman. Starting in the five spot from Orlando, Florida, driving a team associated B64, J Concepts Tires, Reedy Servo, J Concepts Body, Reedy Motor, Reedy Battery, Sandwall Radio, and a Reedy Speed Controller. Thank you to my sponsors, Team Associated, J Concepts, Reedy, and Custom RC Graphics for their products and support. A special thank you to Jason Rona and Paul Wynn for all you do for me. Thank you to my parents for encouraging me to do what I love. Let's race. Your fifth place qualifier is Julian Oliveras. <laughs> Starting in the fourth spot from Highland, Michigan. Driving a team associated chassis, Proline tires, Reedy servo, Proline body, Reedy motor, Reedy battery, Sandwall radio, and a Reedy speed controller. His sponsors include team associated Proline, Reedy, factory team, factory tracks racing, one up racing, RC1, Bradley Fine Designs, 920, CX wallets, Makita kicker. Thanks to the Beachline crew for hosting an amazing national. Your fourth place qualifier is Aiden Horn. Starting third from Salt Lake City, Utah, driving a Schumacher LD2 with J Concepts tires, MKS servo, J Concepts body, LRP motor, LRP battery, and LRP speed controller. His sponsors include Schumacher, LRP, J Concepts, NKS, Wits Racing Products, Core RC, Trish Bits, Easy Customs Painting, S&D Designs, Eaton's International Raceway. Special thanks to my friends, families, and sponsors for the love and support. Your third place qualifier is Brock Chaplin. <laughs> Starting second from Surprise, Arizona, driving a team associated B64 with J Concepts tires, Savox Servo, J Concepts body, Hobby Wing motor, ProTech battery, Futaba radio, and Hobby Wing speed controller. His sponsors include Team Associated, Hobby Wing, J Concepts, A Main Hobbies, Protect, Savox, Futaba, Reds, VP, Hobby Action, Stick and One, Factory Team, Makita, Kicker, and Live RC. I want to thank my dad, the whole J Concepts team, for all the help and support. Your second place qualifier is Spencer Rivkin. And your TQ from Angola, Indiana, driving a TLR with J Concepts tires, Spectrum Servo, J Concepts body, Trinity Phenom motor, Trinity battery, Spectrum radio, Pro Performance RC speed controller. 
His sponsors include TLR, Trinity, J Concept, Spectrum, Pro Performance RC, Ultimate RC, RevTech, Beach RC, Horizon Hobby, Nitro Lux, Bradley Fine Designs, Stick at One Racing. Special thanks to my wife, Thomas Tran, the whole JC team, and everyone back home for all the support. Your modified two wheel drive buggy TQ is Dakota Fend. All right, drivers, go ahead, roll them out. Straight away is closed. Let's go ahead, bring to your grid spots, drivers. Spencer Rifkin took a one. All right, drivers, grid is set. Grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your modified two-wheel drive buggy brought to you by J Concepts A2. Got Finn out in that early lead, followed by Rifkin in the two. Chopping in the three. Oh, Finn with a mistake coming to the driver's center. It's going to put Rifkin back up to that top spot. Finn down to the two as we work through the S's. Spencer Rifkin in that top spot. Finn two, Chaplin three, Horn four. Top four with a breakaway. As your two leaders working down the step down in through the S's, Chapman falling back just a little bit. Now top two around the sweeper into the berm. Now around the roller they go through the triangle, coming to the driver's hand, Rifkin in that top spot, Finn in the two. Now Finn with a little bit more mistake on the top of the stage, giving Rick, Rifkin a little bit more breathing room. It was three tenths, let's make it four tenths now with the top two cars working towards the driver's stand and over the tabletop. Rivkin in that top spot, Finn two. Chaplin holding on to that three spot. Down the straightaway they work. Around the bank now coming over the tabletop, or the roller, I'm sorry, now over the tabletop. Finn pushing a little bit wide, heading in front of the driver's stand. Rivkin able to get a little bit more breathing room. Down the straightaway they go, it's four tenths of a second, separate top two cars. Rivkin one. A1, if he can hold on here, he'll be able to clinch the national championship. Finn needs to get by him to push it into A3 as we are working into the chicane now over the roller once again. Four tenths was the separation last time by now in front of the driver's hand over the tabletop onto the stage. Rifkin in that top spot, Finn in the two. Chaplin hold on to the three spot, Horn four, Kaufman five, Oliveira six. Foot seven, Cavalry eight, Sontag nine, Schimmel in the 10. Your leaders going over the tabletop. Working the step down in through the chicane. Finn trying to close that gap, it was seven tenths. Let's bring it down to four tenths now. Finn with a little bump of the pipe. 
Able to keep it going and catching a little bit more pipe now on top of the straightaway. Down the straightaway they go, careful on top of the stage. Your leaders now in front of the driver's stand over the tabletop. On the stage coming to the step down. We are approaching two minutes left to go. Six tenths is the separation. Rifkin into one spot, Fend into two. Over the tabletop onto the stage they work. Rifkin, Finn. Oh, Finn catching a little bit of mistake into the S's. That's going to give Rifkin now one and a half second advantage. Chaplin one and a half back. There's one car separating. There, thank you very much. A minute and a half to go. Drivers, Rifkin hold on to that top spot. Finn into two, Chaplin three. Putin of four, Cavalier in of five. Your leader in front of the driver's stand. A minute 10 to go, drivers. Rifkin around the bank. Fend around the bank. Chaplin around the bank. With one minute left to go, careful on the step down. We are clear. Your leader now has a two second advantage over Finn in the two. Chaplin eight tenths back from Finn. Careful, stay low on the stage, low on the stage, low on the stage. We are clear. 35 seconds left to go, drivers. Riff can hold on to that top spot, Finn two, Chaplin three. 30 seconds on the race clock. Your leader around the bank, he goes over the roller. Coming up on some traffic here with less than 10 on the race clock. Up on the stage, coming off the stage. Through the S's, he's gonna get one more lap in. Ashley race clock. Brock, you were caught at the line. And everybody's done. Spencer Rifkin's gonna take it and lock your lock up your 2023 Carpet Off-Road National Championship for a modified two-wheel drive buggy. Dakota Finn in the two, Brock Chaplin in the three. Your three vehicles go to Tech. Brandon Foote in the four, Ryan Cavalier in the five, Julian Olivares in the six, Tater Sontag in the seven, Aaron Kaufman in the eight, Brendan Schimmel in the nine, and Aiden Horn in the 10. All right, somebody left some sunglasses out in a turn marshalling area. All right, Spencer. All right. Need you over here, please. Congratulations, dude. Yeah, thanks. We're here at the 2023, uh, 2023 Raw Off-Road Carpet Championships here at the Beachline Raceway. Brought to you by J Concepts. Congratulations, you are the two-wheel drive mod champion of 2023. Congratulations. Yeah, no, this uh, this definitely wouldn't have been able to happen without all the guys that um, back at the shop, uh, Kurt, Brent, Billy, Kyle, Everyone that's been involved with uh, working our freaking tail off, trying to catch Dakota in two wheel drive. I'm getting a little emotional, but it's been, he's been kicking our ass at a lot of races. And not only is he a talented driver, but his stuff's been working good. And I'm glad that we kind of ended up edging him out in two wheel drive. He beat me in trucks, so I was pretty freaking pissed off because I feel like I had the better truck. Um, but we had a clean battle, and I knew that was going to happen in two wheel drive. So 
it was a trade-off, so it is what it is. And yeah, a lot of respect to all those guys out there driving. We we work our tails off. We love the hobby, and that's what it's all about: having some fun and moving on to the next one. Thank you for the great racing. Now, you, congratulations! Now you can go celebrate like Tom Brady. Yeah, thanks. All right, that's the Spencer Rifkin. He's your 2023 Mod Buggy Champion. Oh. out this week. Big thanks to Julian, Tyler, Tyler Paul, and Jason. Jason for making my cars really good. Your 10th place qualifier is Kenny Setzer. Starting ninth from Rancho Cordova, California with a team associated chassis, J Concepts tires, J, uh, Team Powers servo, J Concepts battery, Team Powers motor, Team Powers battery, San Juan Radio and Team Power Speed Controller. His sponsors include Team Associated, J Concepts, Team Powers, Wits Racing Products, Ultimate Racing, Cheater Racing, NorCal Hobbies, Auburn RC, AHRC. Special thanks to my parents and sponsors for all the love and support. Your ninth place qualifier is Doug LaRiviere. <laughs> Starting eighth from Anoka, Minnesota driving a team associated B74.2. J Concepts tires, Reedy Power, servo, J Concepts body, Reedy Power motor, Reedy Power battery, San Wall, M17 radio, and Reedy Power speed controller. His sponsors include team associated, factory team, Reedy Power, J Concepts, Mod, Empire Insurance, FTR Raceway, and thanks to everyone else who helped me get here today. Your eighth place qualifier is Kyle Holmberg. Starting seventh from Apple Valley, California, driving a TLR chassis, J Concepts tires, high tech servo, J Concepts body, R1 works motor, R1 works battery, Sandwall radio, and R1 works speed controller. His sponsors include TLR, R1 works, J Concepts, high tech, mod, vision racing, RC machine. Uh, machine Cheetah Racing, Horizon Hobby, Cichlids, Coyote Hobbies Raceway, San Juan, and TMR Funds. Special thanks to Thomas Tran and all, the whole TLR team for all the help this weekend. Your seventh place qualifier is Sammy Moran. <laughs> Starting six from Markleville, Indiana, Driving a Yokomo chassis, Phantom Servo, Phantom Motor, Phantom Battery, and a Phantom Speed Controller. His sponsors are DRC, BHR. Thank you to my dad and grandpa. Your sixth place qualifier is Dustin Fox. From Champions Gate, Florida, driving an X-Ray with MKS Servo, Trinity Motor, Trinity Battery, Sandwall Radio, Trinity Speed Controller. His sponsors include X-Ray, Hootie, Trinity, 1UP Racing, MKS, Sandwall. Special thanks to Kevin, Jason, Gord, Ty, and all my friends and family for the help this weekend. Your fifth place qualifier is Kai Goff. From wilkes Barre, Pennsylvania, with a TLR chassis, Proline tires, Trinity servo, Proline body, Trinity motor, Trinity battery, Sandwall radio, Trinity speed controller. His sponsors include TLR, Proline, Trinity, Horizon Hobby, Vision Racing, Team Brood, Stacked RC. Thanks to Kevin, Scott, and everyone else for the help this weekend. Your fourth place qualifier is Jeff Stakowitz. From Saratoga, California, driving a team associated with J Concepts tires, Trinity Servo, J Concepts body, Trinity motor, Trinity battery, Sandwall radio, and Trinity speed controller. His sponsors include team associated Trinity, J Concepts, TDK, Mod, Boom Graphics, NorCal Hobbies, SF Threads, 
a huge thank you to my amazing parents and all of my sponsors for all the help and support. Your third place qualifier is Jovi Levin. Starting second. From Marshalltown, Iowa, driving in a TLR Proline tires, Trinity Servo, Proline Body, Trinity Motor, Trinity Battery, San Juan Radio, and Trinity Speed Controller. His sponsors include TLR, Proline, Trinity, Boom RC, Easy Customs, Locked In RC. Special thanks to Thomas, Kevin, Sammy, and my parents. Your second place qualifier is Nate Sutherland. And your TQ from Davie, Florida, using a Schumacher chassis, a Meredith Motorsports motor, a Meredith Motorsports battery. His sponsors include Schumacher, Meredith Motorsports, True Source Distribution, Hot Race Tires, True Form, Witch Racing Products, Easy Custom, Easy Power, Alessi Tuned USA, Beachline Raceway, Beach RC, Superior Hobbies, Beijing Palace, and Jackie Treehorn Productions. Special thanks to Robbie Michael, Troy Meredith, TJ Bradley, Dave Ramos, Ray Derrick, and all of the Beachline locals for their support. Your 1354 Drive TQ is Daniel Chavez. All right, roll them out, drivers. All right, drivers, straightaway is closed. Straightaway is closed. Bring them to your grid spots. All right, top, once we finish top three, top three goes directly to the steps. A roar official will pick up your car and take it to tech. Nobody touches the car except for the roar official. All right, drivers, grid is set. Grid is locked. Daniel Chavez took A1 here in 13.54 drive buggy, trying to lock it up here. Next sound you hear will be the start of your 13.5 four-wheel buggy. A2 brought to you by Surplus Hobby. Got Chavez out in that top spot, Sutherland to 11 and the three. Over the tabletop they work. Sutherland took a look on the inside. Chavez powering on the outside, keeping that, maintaining that top spot. Chavez one, Sutherland to 11 and the three. Stackwitz in the four. Coming to the driver stand now in front over the tabletop. Daniel Chavez holding on that top spot. Nate Sutherland in the two, Jovi Levin in the three. Half a second was the separation for Chavez. Last time I care for coming around the bank, we are clear. Stay high on the st straightaway is clear. Up front, Chavez, Sutherland, Levin, Stakowitz, one, two, three, four with a breakaway. Chavez leading that train over the tabletop. They go. As we're a minute 20 down, 340 left to go. Drivers, Chavez holding on to that top spot. Sutherland in the two. Chavez now six tenths up on Sutherland in the two. 11 starting to close it in on Sutherland for that second spot.
Chavez in the one, Sutherland to 11 and the three. Stackwitz four, Stackwitz now putting pressure on 11 for that three spot as they go over the tabletop. Eight tenths is the lead for Daniel Chavez as he's worked down the straightaway. That battle for that third spot heating up as they work around the bank. 11 catching a little bit of pipe going into the chicane. Stackwitz unable to take advantage. Now over the tabletop they go. Chavez making a mistake. That puts Sutherland up to the top spot. All right, four stop and go, four stop and go. Two and a half down, two and a half to go, drivers. This time by, go. 2.45 down, 2.15 left to go. Solo in that top spot, Chavez in the two as they work towards the driver's stand. Over the tabletop they go. As we're in, we got two minutes left to go through the sweeper. They work in through the chicane over the bank. And from the driver's stand they go. Coming off the stage, the step down through the S's. Doug and Sammy, your leaders will be coming up on you here shortly with a minute 35 left to go. Solon in that top spot, Chavez in the two. Four tenths was the separation last time by careful through the step down. We are clear down through the S's, down the straightaway. A half a second now through the chicane. Chavez closing it up through the chicane. Work through the triangle now, coming to the driver's stand. Over the tabletop. Chavez getting a run now, coming down to the, and through the S section, down the straightaway they work. Let's make it three tenths of a second with the, as we're approaching the final minute. So in that top spot, Chavez in the two. Sutherland trying to push it into A3. Chavez trying to lock it up as they work in through the S's down the straight away they go. Let's make it three tenths once again. As your leader's working over the tabletop, up onto the stage. Oh, Chavez taking a look on the inside, making the pass coming off the stage. Down the straight away they go. Sammy, those will be up. Those your leaders will be right behind you there, Sammy. Chavez up to that top spot. Over the tabletop they go onto the stage. Chavez one, Sutherland two, Stackowitz in the three, Holmberg four, but up front. All right, less than five on the race clock, drivers, as your leaders go down the straightaway. That's the race clock. Your leaders going in front of the driver, stand over the tabletop. On top of the stage, Chavez down to, and Sutherland through the S's, down the straightaway. Daniel Chavez is going to take A2 in your national championship. Sutherland in the two, Jeff Stackowitz in the three. Kyle Holmberg in the four, Kai Goff in the five. So Chavez, Sutherland, Stockwitz, right there to the Roar official, directly to the Roar official with your... Buggy race sponsored by Surpass at the 2023 Off-Road Carpet Championships put on by J Concepts and Beachline Raceway. Daniel Chavez, you are now the four-wheel drive 13.5 champion. How do you feel? Really good, really good. Now that I 
once you got the taste of the four-wheel drive and how, how good it was, I'm glad that I was able to double up. And I got to give all the credit to Robbie Michael. He built that whole four-wheel drive for me and late nights wrenching on it together, and he got it really, really good. So I got to thank him for all that. Yeah, A2 wasn't easy. You made a mistake. Uh, you and Nate Sutherland had a battle. I missed the passer, but it, was, it probably was epic. Your car looked good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. I came off the steps just a little bit hot, turned in a little early, and just got clipped out. I knew I had the speed, so I was really just going to wait it out and see if he made a mistake, and then he wasn't going to, so we just had to make a move. All right. Well, congratulations, man, and hey, time to celebrate. Yep. Once again, shout out to my boy Ray Derrick. That's two, bro. That's for you. Cool. Congratulations. That is uh, Danny Chavez, your 2023-13-5 uh, four-wheel drive champion. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, you're right here. Okay, okay. All right. All right, drivers, go ahead. Roll them out. Two laps, two laps. All right, straightaway is closed. Driver straightaway is closed. All right, starting in the one spot's gonna be Ethan Mickelson. In the two, Tyler Hooks. In the three, Andrew Kaufman. In the four, Dalton Hashberger. In the five, Chad Smith, Jr. In the six, Alex Fury. In the seven, Shane Albrico. In the eight, John Cravata. In the nine, Kyle Chasen. And in the ten is going to be Jacob Montgomery. All right, drivers, grid is set, grid is locked. Next down, you're here to start your 13.5 5 four-wheel drive. Buggy B Main brought to you by Surpass Hobby. Got Mickelson on that top spot, hooks in the two as they work over the tabletop. Kaufman in that three spot, Smith in the four. Ashberger five, Albrico six, Grotta seven, Montgomery eight, Fury nine, chasing in the 10. Your battle for that top spot as they work the step down. And through the S's, Mickelson in the one, hooks in the two. Careful through the step downs, we are clear. Uh, careful coming up on the stage, careful coming up on the stage. Uh, careful through the S's, we got one upside down in the S's. Hashberger's gonna move up to that two spot, Smith into the three, Hooks four, Kaufman five, Montgomery six, Grotta seven, Albrico eight, Chasing nine, Fury in the 10. Ethan Mickelson in that top spot. Careful coming off the stage, drivers, we are clear. Hashberger in the two, he's two and a half seconds back. Hooks into the three, Kaufman four, Montgomery five. Cravada six, Smith seven, Albrico eight, Chasen nine, Fury 10. Up front, Ethan Montgomery down the straightaway, Hashberger down the straightaway. 2.1 seconds is the separation. Hooks in that three spot, Kaufman in the four. The battle is for that third spot as they work through the S's down the straightaway. Hooks in the three, Kaufman in the four. They work in through the chicane around the bank, coming over the roller. Hooks has the three spot. Kaufman having a little bit of trouble in front of the driver's stand. That's going to drop him now one and a half seconds back. 
from Kaufman in the three spot. Meanwhile, Hashberg starting to close that gap as your leaders down the straightaway. Chasing that is your leader behind you. Thank you. Second place will be coming up right real shortly. 1.2 is the separation. Top two cars. Oh, Hashberg going two wheels, using the wall to straighten himself up. And as we're 210 left to go, drivers, it's now 1.7 up front. Oh, Hashberg catching a pipe through the chicane. Careful around the berm. Three, two minutes left to go, drivers. Mickelson in that top spot. Now has hooks in the two, Hashberger three. Mickelson with a 2.7 advantage, Hashberger eight tenths back from hooks. Oh, careful on the stage. Hashberger up to that two hooks, having trouble on the stage. Montgomery in the four, Smith in the five. That's going to be your closest battle right there as they go over the roller for that four spot. Meanwhile, up front, Ethan Mickelson crossing the line. Around the bank he goes. Going to roll again, ready to come up on some traffic. Your leader over the tabletop. Down the straightaway he goes. Ethan Mickelson through the chicane. We're in the final minute. As your Ethan Mickelson on the stage, coming off the stage, got one car in front of him of Alabrico. Mickelson one, Hashberger two, Hooks three, Montgomery four. Thirty-five seconds left to go. Thirty seconds on the clock, drivers. Mickelson in that top spot. Ashburger now just three tenths back. Battle for that lead after Mickelson having a little bit of trouble over the tabletop. They go. We got 16 seconds left to go. Battle for your lead in through the S's. They're going to get this one and one more in. Mickelson in the one. Ashburger two. Fury, that's going to be your leaders right behind you with less than five on the race clock. Thank you very much. Over the tabletop they go. Onto the stage, Mickelson in the one, Hashberger two. Down the straightaway they work. Ethan Mickelson's gonna win your B main. Dalton Hashberger's gonna go into two. Tyler Hooks and Smith still to finish up. And everybody's done. Tyler Hooks is gonna be in the three, Smith in the four. Montgomery five, Cravada six, Albrico seven. for Carver and Dirt. Um, me and Kevin did a lot of testing and we wanted to get it exactly how, uh, how I run it on the track. So you guys can order the motor up, get it out there, and uh, that's what I run on dirt, it's what I run on carpet, and it should be uh, good to go, ready to rip. At the 2023 Raw Off Road Carpet Nationals, brought to you by J Concepts and Beachline Raceway. We just had the B main for 13 5 four wheel drive buggy, and your winner, brought to you by Surpass Hobbies, and your winner is Ethan Mickelson. Thank you, man. Um, well, uh, it was a good race there. A little closer than I'd like at the end there, <laughs> thanks to my own hand. But uh, thankfully, I was able to pull off with the win, just in cruise control in the last lap. I knew Dalton was behind me there, and like ooh, a little close, but I'm glad I was able to pull it together. Where are you from? I'm from Minnesota, actually, up at Thunder Road. And I just want to say a huge thanks to the Thunder Road RC Race Team for helping me here, and also just through my progress of racing. Like I've only been doing this for four years, and it's just been an amazing journey. Like I've been racing with my brother, uh, Caden Voss, Brian Bullman, all those guys have really helped me with my journey of racing. I just want to say a big thanks to all of them, and also. To all the Thunder Road guys. Thank you for uh, supporting our track. Yeah, congratulations to you. Uh, I, let, I know a lot about the Minnesota RC, thanks mm -hmm. to Joe Zier. Mm -hmm. So uh, good stuff, and uh, you can go back to Minnesota, uh, Minnesota, Minnesota if your head held high. <laughs> Thank you, man.
All right, go right there for me. Roll them out, drivers. I roll them out. All right, over here on the stage. We, somebody left a phone over against the wall while turn marshalling. I have it up here, if you can describe it. I will return it to you. All right, straight away is closed, straight away is closed. Going to go ahead and bring them to your starting positions. Starting in the one spot is going to be Ty Tessman. Starting second, Juan Lopez. In the three spot, David Alabrico. In the four, Paul Wynn. In the five, Jason Rona. In the six, Paul Ciccarello. In the seven, Ethan Mackinick. In the eight, Mason Marino. In the nine, Zach Griggs. And in the 10 is going to be Steve Dunn. Drivers. Grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your modified two wheel drive buggy brought to you by J Concepts B Main. Got Tessman out in that top spot. Lopez in the two, Alvarico three, Mackinac in the four, Chigurlo five, win six. Now Lopez having trouble in front of the driver saying that's gonna put Alvarico up in the two spot, Mackinac in the three. Win into the four, Lopez five, Chigurlo in the six. Greg seven, done eight, Rona, er, Marino nine, Rona 10. Meanwhile, you know, off front, Ty Tessman down the straightaway. And we now have Albrico two, win up to the three, Mackinac getting the four after catching the pipe, going to step down. Careful in front of the driver's stand, we are clear. Tessman out in that top spot. Alberico two, Mackinac in the three, win in the four. The battle is three, four, five, six, and seven. Careful through, through the chicane, we are clear. Mackinac win down the straightaway. Through the chicane around the, Mackinac catching the dot. Oh, having some big trouble now after catching that dot. That's gonna put win up to the three. Chicarello in the four, Lopez five. Uh, uh, win 1.6 back from Alabrico now for second. Win closing that gap down to one second as they work over the roller. Alabrico going wide around the triangle. Win closing that gap coming off the stage. Down the step downs and through the S section. Down the straightaway they go. There, nose to tail now. Albrico and win around the bank they work. Two and three over the tabletop. Meanwhile, your leader, seven and a half seconds up, that of Ty Tessman. Battle for a second place over the bank. All win, catching a little bit of the back wheels of Albrico. Dropping him back just a little bit as we're 2.15 left to go, drivers.
Careful, high on the straightaway, high on the straight. Two minutes left. Two minutes left to go. Wind moves up to that two spot. Albrico three, Lopez now in the four. Three and four, Albrico Lopez. Uh, Albrico cutting short on the, in front of the gyro stand. That's gonna put Lopez up to the three. You're running order now, Tessman one, win two, Albrico three, Lopez. Now Lopez in the three, Albrico in the four, I'm sorry. And Magnick in the five. Lopez, Albrico, careful in front of the driver's stand, careful in front of the driver's stand. Okay. All right, Tessman in that top spot as he works in front of the driver's stand over the tabletop. We're in the final minute, your leader down the straightaway. He works that up, Ty Tessman. Over the roller. In front of the driver's stand, over the tabletop. The next car he come, will come to is Alabrico. Thank you very much now. Clear track for your leader. Paul Wynn in that two spot. Nine seconds back, Third, 25 seconds left to go. Drivers, Lopez in the two, Alabrico three, Mechanic in the four, careful in front of the driver's stand. We are clear. That was your third place car of Lopez. Less than 10 on the race clock, drivers. Less than five. That's the clock. Finish the lap you are on. All right, looking for one more. And everybody's done. Ty Tesson's gonna win. Your modified two-wheel drive buggy B main. Paul Wynn in the two. Juan Lopez in the three. David Alabrico in the four. Ethan Mackinac in the four or five. Paul Chicarello in the six. Jason Rowe in the seven, Zach Griggs in the eight, Mason Marino in the nine, Steve Dunn in the 10. Ty, Paul, Juan, set your cars, your, your cars go to tech. Ty, come on over here for an interview, please. Two thousand and twenty-three raw off-road carpet nets at Beachline Raceway, brought to you by J Concepts. Uh, we just had the mod two-wheel drive B-Man brought to you by J Concepts. Ty, not your normal position being the B-Man, but you win it anyway. Yeah, I just kind of struggled through qualifying. Never could really get the speed I wanted. Kept making mistakes. So uh, I think we have a lot to work to do, but I did make some changes for that one, and I think my car was better and I was two tenths faster than qualifying. So I think we made some headway, but it's still a lot of work to do. Um, but just keep learning every race we go to, I guess. So uh, again, we'll see you soon here in Silver State, I guess, in two weeks' time? Yeah, yeah we'll be there. Uh, I just want to thank all my sponsors for all the great support over the years, thick, through the thick and thin. Um, my family's always been by my side, and most importantly, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Congratulations. And uh, hey, you know what? I'm really digging the mustache, man. Thank you. <laughs> That's Ty Tessman. And here's your trophy, Ty. Thank you. We're getting back to, uh, to uh, stock stadium truck now, so lots of coverage left to come here at All right, this is A2 for our 13.5 stadium trucks. Starting in the 10 spot from Livermore, California. Driving an associated chassis, J Concepts tires, Protect servo, J Concepts body, Team Powers, 
Motor, or Team Powers V4 Motor, Jen's Ace Redline Battery, Sandwall Radio, Hobby Wing Speed Controller, his spot, he wants to thank my wife, Aubrey, I love you, Orion and Livy, wish you were here. Your 10th place qualifier is Mike Gazer, starting ninth from my hometown, Port Orange, Florida, with a team associated chassis, J Concepts Tires, Protect Servo, Jane Costum, Spotty, Trinity Motor, Protect Battery, Futaba Radio, and Reedy Speed Controller. Special thanks to Robbie and the Beachline crew. Your ninth place qualifier is Jason Coleman. Starting eighth from Fort Eustis, Virginia. Gonna miss formation in the morning. His chassis is a team associated TC or T62, J Concepts Tires, Trinity Servo, J Concepts Body, 13.5, Slot Machine, Trinity Motor, Trinity Battery, Sandwall Radio, and an MX10 Pro Trinity Speed Controller. Thank you to Mugen, Trinity, Ra uh, Race Ready Products, Lude Fingers Racing, Clinic RC, Ultimate RC, Privateer Race Products, U.S. Army, Beach RC, and Coastal RC for all the support. Your eighth place qualifier is Kyle Chasen. Starting seventh from St. Cloud, Florida. Driving a Schumacher with J Concepts Tires, Phantom Mo uh, Servo, Schumacher Body, Phantom Motor, Phantom Battery, Sandwall Radio, and Phantom Speed Controller. His sponsors include One Up Racing and TDK. Your seventh place qualifier is John Prickett. Starting sixth from East Vale, California. Has a one-up racing chassis. Tires, he's looking. R1 servo, Pro-Line body, R1 motor, R1 battery, M12 radio, R1 speed controller. Special thank you to my mom and dad for everything they continue to do for me. Thanks to the Levin family for all the help with setups. Your sixth place qualifier is Brian Wyrick. Starting fifth from Titusville, Florida, driving a Schumacher with J, J Concepts tires, Trinity servo, Pro-Line body, Trinity motor, Trinity battery, Sandwall radio, and Trinity speed controller. His sponsors include Schumacher, Wits Racing Products, and Team Trinity. Your fifth place qualifier is Chad Neuweiler. Starting fourth from Saratoga, California, with a team associated chassis, J Concepts Tires, Trinity Servo, J Concepts Body, Trinity Motor, Trinity Battery, Sandwall Radio, and Trinity Speed Controller. His sponsors include Team Associated, Trinity, J Concepts, TDK, Mod, Boom, Gra uh, Boom Graphics, NorCal Hobbies, SF Threads. A huge thank you to my amazing parents and all my sponsors for all the help and support. Your fourth place qualifier is Jovi Levin. Starting third from Anoka, Minnesota, with a team associated T6.2, J Concepts Tires, Reedy Power Servo, J Concepts Body, Reedy Power Motor, Reedy Power Battery, Sandwall M17, and a Reedy Power Speed Controller. His sponsors include Team Associated, Factory Team, Reedy Power, J Concepts Mod, Empire Insurance, FTR Raceway, and thanks to everyone else who has helped me get here today. Your third place qualifier is Kyle Holmberg, Starting second from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, with a Vision Racing chassis, Pro-Line tires, Trinity Servo, Pro-Line body, Trinity motor, Trinity battery, Sandwall radio, and Trinity Servo. His sponsors include TLR, Pro-Line, Trinity, Horizon Hobby, Vision Racing, Team Brood, Stacked RC. Thanks to Kevin, Scott, and everyone for the help this weekend. Your second place qualifier is Jeff Stakowitz. From Rancho Cordova, California, driving a team associated chassis with J Concepts Tires. Team Powers Servo, J Concepts Body, Team Powers Motor, Team Powers Battery O, Sandwall Radio, and a Team Powers Speed Controller. His sponsors include Team Associated, J Concepts, Team Powers, Wits Racing Products, Ultimate Racing, Cheater Racing, NorCal Hobbies, Auburn RC, AHRC, AHRC. Special thanks to my parents and sponsors for all their love and support. Your 
13 five stadium truck TQ is Doug LaRiviere. All right, drivers, go ahead and roll them out. Get, roll them out for two laps, guys, two laps. Straight away is closed, driver. Straight away is closed. Go ahead and roll them to your grid positions. Doug LaRiviere took A1, looking to lock up the national championship here in A2. All right, drivers, grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your A2 for 13.5 stadium truck. All right, up front, we got Doug out in that top spot, Jeff two, Kyle three. Jovi in the four. One, two, three, four, heading to the driver's stand. Now over the tabletop. Kyle getting crossed up. That's going to put Jovi up to that three spot. Heads Doug, Jeff, Jovi, Kyle. One, two, three, four. But got your top two over the tabletop onto the stage, coming off the stage. Doug trying to put a little bit of distance between him and Jeff right now. Four tenths now, eight tenths is the separation. Jovi, Kyle work, trying to work together to catch Jeff. Careful coming out in the step down. We are clear. As your leader starting to work through the S section down the straighter, one, two, three, four. A four truck breakaway. Thank you very much. Doug in that top spot, Jeff two, Jovi three, Kyle in the four. For a minute 20 down, 340 left to go. Six tenths last time by was the lead for Doug. Let's make it seven tenths now. The battle is heavy for that third spot between Jovi and Kyle. But all four trucks up on the stage and coming off the stage together. Kyle now taking a look on the inside on Jovi, unable to make the pass down the straightaway, they work. Doug in the one, Jeff two, careful on the stage. We are clear. Your leaders now coming in front of the driver's stand. All careful, hold it, hold it, hold it. Third, third place right behind you there, John. Thank you. Fourth place will be right there as well. Your leader over the tabletop, top two cars coming up onto the stage. Thank you very much. Third place will be right there as well. Thank you. One, two, and three down the straightaway. It's Jeff, or Doug, Jeff, Kyle, Jovi in the four now as we are approaching the halfway mark. Jeff, seven tenths up on, or Doug, seven tenths up on Jeff in the two. Jeff, one, eight tenths up on Kyle in the three. As they work in through the chicane, now over the roller. Doug in that top spot as he works 
over the tabletop. Getting ready to come up on some traffic. The next two cars he sees will be Newweiler and Chasen. So Chad and Kyle, the next the truck that comes up on you will be your leader. The second place will be right behind him as well. Two With two minutes left to go. Thank you, third place right there. Thank you very much. Your leader is Doug Lillivier with a minute 45 left to go. Jeff Stackwitz in the two as they're up on the stage, coming off the stage. Nine tenths was the separation last time by. As they come down the straightaway this time by, let's make it 1.1. Doug trying to build in a little bit of breathing room. As your leaders go over the tabletop, coming up on the stage, they're getting ready to come up on some more traffic. So Brian and Mike, leader, oh, Doug catching the chicane. That's gonna move Jeff up to the top spot as your leader is working some traffic. Down through the, now around the bank and coming over the roller, that orange and blue truck. Careful coming onto the, your leader coming onto the stage. Second place right there as well. Third place, and third place, uh, three cars running. That's going to be your all white cars, your third place car. Through the chicane, thank you. Meanwhile, up front, we got Jeff and Kyle battling it out. Coming off the stage with 30 seconds left to go. Through the S section, they work. Jeff in the one, Kyle two, Doug in the three, Jovi in the four. Your leaders now in front of the driver's stand over the tabletop. Kyle catching a little bit of pipe as we're less than 10 on the race clock. They're gonna get this lap in, one more in. This is gonna be the final lap. Jeff in that top spot, careful through the S's. Over the tabletop, they go onto the stage. Jeff in the one, Kyle in the two. As they come down in through the S's, Jeff tried to make the, or Kyle tried to make that last pass. Jeff's gonna, Jeff Stackwood's gonna take it. Kyle Holmberg in the two. Doug LaRiviere in the three. Joy Levin in the four. Brian Wyrick in the five. Kyle Chasen in the six. Chad Newweller in the seven. John Prickett in the eight. Jason Coleman in the nine. Mike Gazer in the 10. Believe the hype, as Witz Racing Products has all you need to get RC cars dialed in with Hyperglide ceramic bearings and other high-performance products for the competitive RC racer. From the shop to the track, increased drivetrain, reduced friction. Hyperglide along to just go faster with Witz Racing Products. Hello, we're here at the 2023 Raw Off-Road Carpet Champions at Beachline Raceway, put on by J Concepts, and we just had the 13.5 Stadium Truck uh, A2. Jeff Stacks won it, so you made it a race. We're going to see a good race here in A3. Yeah, we should. I mean, unfortunate for Doug, he got kind of clipped there, but uh, right, I was able to capitalize and take the win. How's your weekend been going besides truck? It's been interesting, for sure. <laughs> it's had some, some drama, but uh, we're having fun. We're doing, you know, yeah. doing good. Well, good stuff. I hope you guys can put on a show for us in A3, and uh, good luck to you. Thanks. All right, that's Jeff Stacks. He won A2. We're getting ready to go on to our next race here at uh, the 2023 Raw Off-Road Carpet Championships. Um, John, where's John at? John Prickett, take the white box for me. And... Jeff, there. All right. And we look good. All right. Up next. 
All right, starting in a two spot from Orlando, Florida, driving a team associated B74.2 with J Concepts tires, Reedy Servo, J Concepts body, Reedy motor, Reedy battery, Sandwall radio, and our Reedy speed controller. Thank you to my sponsors, team associated, J Concepts, Reedy, and Custom RC Graphics for all their products and support. A special thanks to Jason Rona and Paul Wynn for all that you do for me. Thank you to the AE crew for the setup advice and teamwork. Thank you to my parents for encouraging me to do what I love to, what I love. Let's race your 10th place qualifier, Julian Oliveras. <laughs> Starting ninth from Huntington Beach, California, driving a Schumacher with raw speed tires, a Savox servo, Schumacher body, hobby wing motor, Sun Pedal battery, Sandwall radio, hobby wing speed controller. His sponsors include Schumacher, Hobby Wing, Raw Speed, Savox, Sun, Sun Pedal, One Up Racing, Stick at One, and Dark Side Designs. Your ninth place qualifier is Ryan Cavallari. <laughs> Starting in the eighth spot from Boston Lake, New York. Driving a TLR with Proline tires, Spectrum Servo, Proline Body, Hobby Wing Motor, Trinity Battery, Hobby Wing Speed Controller. His sponsors include TLR, Horizon Hobby, Proline, Spectrum. Hobby Wing, Trinity, Stick at One, Mod, Avid, Team Brew, and Variety Water. I'd like to thank my sponsors, friends, and family for all their support. Thank you to Beachline, Roar, and everyone who made this event possible. And my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, your eighth place qualifier is Aaron Kaufman. <laughs> Starting in the seventh spot from Venita, Oregon with a team associated chassis, J Concepts tires, Reedy servo, J Concepts body, Reedy motor, Reedy battery, Sandwall radio, and Reedy speed controller. His sponsors include team, include team associated, J Concepts, Reedy factory team. Thanks to Brent Th Thilke and my dad for all their help and support. Your seventh place qualifier is Brandon Foot. Starting sixth from Highland, Michigan. With a team associated chassis, Proline tires, Reedy servo, Proline body, Reedy motor, Reedy battery, Sandwall radio, and a Reedy G or 610R speed controller. His sponsors include team associated, Proline, Reedy, factory team, factory tracks racing, RC1920, Bradley Fine Line Designs, One Up Racing, CX Wallets, Makita, and Kicker. Starting six is going to be Aiden Horn. Starting in the five spot from Grand Blaine, Michigan, with a TLR chassis, Proline tires, Phantom servo, Proline body, Phantom motor, Phantom battery, Sandwall radio, Phantom speed controller. His sponsors include TLR, Phantom, Proline, Horizon Hobby, Team Brood, Vision Racing, RC1, Bradley Fine Line Design, MKM Graphic and Design, AHRC, DBX Film. Special thanks to the entire TLL, TLR team. For the help and good times, your fifth place qualifier is Tater Sontag. <laughs> Starting fourth from Salt Lake City, Utah, driving a Schumacher L L1R with J Concepts tires, MKS servo, J Concepts body, LRP motor, LRP battery, LRP speed controller. His sponsors include Schumacher, LRP, J Concepts, MK MKS, Wits Racing Products, Court RC, Trish Bits, Easy. Customs Paintings, s and Design, Edom's Inner Mountain Raceway. Special thanks to my friends, family, and sponsors for the love and support. Your fourth place qualifier is Brock Chaplin. <laughs> Starting third from Surprise, Arizona, driving a team associated B74.2 with J Concepts tires. Savox Servo, J Concepts body, Hobby Wing motor, Protect battery, Futaba radio, and Hobby Wing Speed Controller. His sponsors include Team Associated, Hobby Wing, J Concepts, A Main Hobbies, Protect, Savox, Futaba, Reds, VP, Hobby Action, Stick It One, Factory Team, Makita, Kicker, and Live RC. I want to thank my dad and the whole J Concepts team for all the help and support. Your third place qualifier is Spencer Rifkin from Cypress County, Canada, 
Driving an X-Ray XB423 with J Concepts tires, MKS servo, X-Ray body, Hobby Wing motor, Protec battery, Hobby Wing speed controller. His sponsors include X-Ray, RC America, Hobby Wing FX engines, Hot Race tires, MKS, A Main Hobbies, Protec, VP Fuels, Hootie, Avid, Stick It One, Easy Customs, 110% racing. I would thank all of my I would like to thank all my sponsors for the amazing products and awesome support. Thank you to my family for all the years of love and help support they've given me. Most importantly, I would like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because without him, I would not be here, or would not be where I am today. Your second place qualifier is Ty Tussman. And from Angola, Indiana, with a TLR chassis, J Concepts tires. Spectrum Servo, J Concepts Body, Trinity Phenom Motor, Trinity Battery, Spectrum Radio, Pro Performance RC Speed Controller. His sponsors include TLR, Trinity, J Concepts, Spectrum, Pro Performance, Pro Performance RC, Ultimate RC, RevTech, Beach RC, Horizon Hobby, Nitro Lux, Bradley Fine Design, Stick at One Racing. Special thanks to my wife, Thomas Tran, the whole JC team and everybody back home for all the support. Your TQ for four wheel drive modified is Dakota Finn. All right, drivers, let's go ahead and roll them out. Right, drivers, let's go ahead. Straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. Bring him to your grid positions. <laughs> Minute grace is started. Let's go ahead. Get them lined up, drivers. Line them up. Fend in the one, Testman two, Rifkin three, Chaplin four. Sontag five, Horn six, Foot seven, Kaufman eight, Cavalier nine, Oliveris ten. Forty seconds left. Twenty seconds, drivers. Ten seconds left on the minutes grace. All right, drivers, that is your minutes grace. So, drivers. The next sound you, the grid is set and the grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your mod four wheel drive aim A2 brought to you by Wits Racing Products. Dakota Finn took A1. Fend out that whole with the out with the whole shot. Testman in the two. Rifkin three, Chaplin four. One, two, three, four. Starting to break away just a bit up front. Fend in that top spot. Testman two. Chaplin putting some pressure on Rifkin for that three spot. Finn taking A1, trying to lock it up here in A2. 
Tessman trying to push it into a three. Your leader is Dakota Finn as he works down the straightaway. Tessman down the straightaway. The battle's going to be for that third spot between Rifkin and Chaplin around the bank. Over the roller they go. Now over the tabletop. Tessman getting a little squirrely on the step down. That's going to allow Rifkin to close that gap. We've got one second separate, one separate, separate, separate second, third, and fourth. As they go over the tabletop. Down the step down they go. Finn in that top spot. 1.7 up on Tessman in the two. Two, three, four, heading to the driver's stand. Over the tabletop they go. Finn still holding on that top spot. Now two seconds up on Tessman in the two. Car six, stop and go. Down the straightaway we go. Car six, stop and go. Next time by car six. Low on the straightaway, go low on the straight. Low on the straight. We are clear. And the stop and go. go. Fend in that top spot. Tessman in the two, Rivkin three. Chaplin in the four, Chaplin all over the back bumper of Rifkin as they work down the straightaway. Around the bank to go, two, three, four over the roller. Your leader starting to get come up to traffic as he works in through the chicane, or the S section. Foot will be the first car he sees. One, two, three, four over the roller, now coming to the driver's stand. Over the tabletop, they work. We're in the, we've got two minutes left to go. Tessman still in the two. Rivkin three, Chaplin four, down the straightaway they go. Your leader coming up on traffic as he goes over the tabletop. Thank you very much. Two, three, four. We're going to, uh oh. Rivkin making the pass going into the S's. That's going to put Rivkin up to the two. Tessman down to the three. Careful coming onto the stage. As you, Your leader coming up on major traffic in through the chicane around the berm. Your leader now coming to the driver's stand over the tabletop. Got three cars in front of him. Horn, Cavalier, Oliveras, the leader will be is right on the back side of you. I know you guys are battling for position. Be aware. And we got Rifkin, Tessman, Chaplin with one minute left to go. Second, third, and fourth coming in through the S section. Down the straightaway they work. Rifkin into two, Tessman three, Chaplin four. Forty seconds left to go, drivers. Rifkin, Tessman battle now, nose to tail. Tessman takes a look on the inside, unable to make pass as they go over this tabletop. 30 seconds left to go, drivers. They're coming off the tabletop, down the step, down in through the S section. Rifkin into two, Tessman three, Chaplin four, two, three, four, around the bank. 15 seconds on the race clock, drivers. Rifkin with the, catching a little bit of a pipe coming off the stage. Doesn't hurt him too bad. Chaplin all over the back side of Tessman with less than five on the race clock. Chaplin took a look on the inside, unable to make the pass as they go over the tabletop. Your leaders are coming through the S section and across the line. Looking for two more to finish up. And everybody is done. Dakota Finn's going to take it and clinch your 2023 four wheel drive carpet off road national championship. Spencer Rifkin in the two, Brock Chaplin, or I'm sorry, Ty Tessman in the three, Brock Chaplin in the four. So Dakota, Spencer, Ty, take your cars directly to, or they need to go to Tech from a official 
Chaplin's in the four, Horn five, Kaufman six, Oliveira seven, Cavalieri eight. Believe the hype, as Witz Racing Products has all you need to get RC cars dialed in with Hyperglide ceramic bearings and other high performance products for the competitive RC racer. From the shop to the track, increase drivetrain, reduce friction. Hyperglide along to just go faster with Witz Racing Products. Carpet Championships held at the Beachline Raceway, brought to you by J Concepts. And now here is 28-time national champion Dakota Fan S for the just won the Wits four-wheel drive mod buggy. Yeah, man, uh, four-wheel drive has been awesome all weekend. Uh, we made a lot, a lot of progress with it, and uh, it was it was just awesome to drive. So felt super comfortable with it. Had great pace. So glad to uh, finish it out. Yeah, I mean, you didn't get two-wheel drive, but you got truck and you got this, so I will say it was a good weekend. Yeah, it was a good weekend for sure. You know, obviously it sucks with two-wheel drive. Um, kind of started to struggle yesterday a little bit and then just had a couple of small mistakes today, and uh, Spencer drove really good. So it's what it is, but yeah, overall, great weekend. All right, well, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you at Silver State here in a couple of weeks' time, and uh, let's start the celebration. All right, thank you. Okay, that's Dakota Fenn, your four-wheel drive uh, mod champion here at Raw. Up next, race number 26. All right, Not thank you. Well, I need my marshals in place. Let's go, pair marshals. Brennan Schimmel, David Alvarico, Ethan McEnany, Zach Riggs, Juan Lopez, Joseph Marino, Mason Marino. All right, driver, straightaway is closed. Straightaway is closed. All right, drivers, let's bring him to the grid. Starting in the one spot, it's going to be Brennan Schimmel. In the two, Ethan Mechanic. In the three, David Albrico. In the four, Zach Griggs. In the five, Juan Lopez. In the six, Mason Marino. In the seven, Joseph Marino. All right, driver's grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your four-wheel drive modified buggy B main brought to you by Woods Racing Products. Got Schimmel out in that top spot. Mechanin in two, Albrico three, Griggs four, Lopez five, Mason six, Joseph in the seven. Oh, Schimmel going upside down, coming off the stage. That's gonna put Mechanic in the top spot, Albrico in the two. Griggs in the three, Schimmel in the four, Lopez five. One, two, three, through the bank, now over the roller. Alberico having some trouble going over the roller. That's going to put Griggs into the two. Now Griggs into trouble as well. That's going to put Mechanic in that top spot. Alberico two, Schimmel three, Lopez four. Mason in the five, Griggs six. Mackinac in that top spot, Albrico two, Schimmel three. Well, Lopez four, Mason five. A minute 35 down, 325 left to go. 
Ethan McInnick working in through the bank. Alberico and Schimmel through the chicane now the bank. Over the roller, battle for that second spot, coming to the driver's stand. Over the tabletop, they work, now onto the stage. Schimmel having some trouble over the tabletop. Lopez having some trouble there once he caught uh, Schimmel. That's gonna put Mason there only nine tenths back from Schimmel in that three spot. So that battle for third, the roller. Brendan Schimmel in that three spot, Mason Marino in the four as they go over the tabletop. Juan Lopez in the five, Griggs in the six. Mackinac in that top spot, Alberico trying to close that gap. It's 1.2 seconds to separate top two as we're approaching two to go. Two minutes left, two minutes left to go. And Alberico losing a wheel, your second place car. That's gonna put Schimmel in the two, Mason Marino in the three, Juan Lopez in the four. Griggs into the five. So battle for that third spot around the bank between Mason and Juan. Looks like Juan. Mason and Juan working through the S's. Mason holding on to that top spot. Juan trying to find a way around. Everybody else in their own area of racetrack, but this is gonna be a battle for that third and final podium position as we're approaching the final minute. Mason in that three spot, Juan in the four. Juan taking a look on the inside down the straightaway, unable to make the pass as they work over the roller around the triangle coming to the driver's stand. Mason Marino in that three spot, Juan Lopez in the four. Juan taking a look on the inside on the top of the stage, able to Take a look now. Mason tried to do the crossover, unable to do it. So Juan up to the three, Mason into the four. 40 seconds left to go. Ethan Mackinac in that, oh. Careful to end it straight away. Careful after the step down. We are clear, 25 seconds left to go, drivers. Magnac one, Schimmel two, Lopez three, Marino four, Griggs five. 15 seconds on the race clock. Less than five drivers. That's right, so the race clock, everybody keep going, keep going until you finish your lap. Looking for one more to finish up. And everybody's done. Ethan McInnick's gonna take it and win your four drive modified B main. Brendan Schimmel in the two, Juan Lopez three, Mason Marino four, Zach Griggs in the five. Ethan, Brandon, and Juan. Cars directly to tech. Marshall as well, please. Carpet Championships at the Beach Line Raceway. What to you by J Concepts? And we just had the Wits B Main, and your winner of that was Ethan Mechanic. How are you feeling, Ethan? Uh, pretty good. My car felt pretty good. I had new tires on, and 
After about the first three or four laps, they were uh, pretty good then, and I was able to capitalize on a mistake by the leader, mm -hmm. and I think lap two or three, and stay on my all four wheels till to the win. Okay. What's the next race for you? Uh, next big one, national big one, probably be Fuel Nats, but uh, I'll be doing some local racing. Okay. Uh, LCRC has a race coming up in May, so I'll be up there yeah. in that. Sweet. Shout out to LCRC, great facility. I, I hope to get back there one, one year. And congratulations to the B main. I know it's not the A main, but you go home with some, pla with some, tr with some hardware. Look, I have it here for you, right here. Ah, there you go. Congratulations. Thank you, and uh, thank to all my sponsors and Ty and Gordon, the whole X-Ray team, for helping me out this weekend. No problem. Congratulations, dude. Safe travels home. And straightaway is closed, straightaway is closed. All right, drivers are gonna, let's head over to the grid spot. Starting in the one spot, it's gonna be Tim Larson. In the two, Seth Payton. In the three, Joseph Fisher. In the four, Clarence Thompson. In the five, Teddy Davis. In the six, Kenny Hogue. The seven is left open, Miguel Dumont. In the eight, Richard Lewis. In the nine, Sean Alfonso. No, race set or er, spot seven is left open. All right, drivers, grid is set. Um, you might want to move down towards the opening here so you don't get hit at the start. Thank you. All right, drivers, grid is set. Grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your OR 13.5 Stadium truck, B Main. Got Larson out now, whole shot. Fisher in the two, Peyton three. Oh, Fisher going two wheels, Peyton back up to that two spot. Fisher in the three. As Larson one, Peyton two, Fisher three, Dobson four, Davis five. Fisher back up to that two spot. Peyton, oh, Fisher making the move to the lead now. Larson coming back, hold it, hold it, hold it. Go. And Fisher making a nice pass around the bank up to that top spot. Larson in the two, Peyton in the three. Now Fisher get stalling out at the bottom of the tabletop. Now that's gonna put Peyton up to the top spot. Larson two, Fisher in the three, Dobson in the four. Larson and Fisher battling it out. Peyton's trying to pull away just a bit. Oh, he goes upside down at the tabletop. That's gonna put Fisher up to the top spot. Peyton able to hold on to the two. Dobson in that three spot. Now Larson in the four. Careful coming on the step downs. We are clear. Your leader, that yellow and red with yellow wheels down, straight away he goes, that of Joey Fisher. Seth Payton in the two. Seth Payton's got, looks like green on one side, silver on the other. Orange and silver, sorry. Like I said, I am colorblind, so I have to guess at these colors. Fisher in that top spot, Payton in the two. Here's the leader getting ready to come up on traffic as he goes over the tabletop onto the stage of yellow and red truck is your leader. 
second place right behind him now. Your leader getting hung up a little bit with traffic down the straightaway. They go eight tenths of a second as we are two, 25 down, 235 left to go. Fisher in the one, Peyton in the two as they battle through the S's down the straightaway. Eight tenths last time by. Let's make it nine tenths now. Fisher trying to close that gap. He goes a little wide on the bank. Peyton able to close that gap. Down and over the tabletop, they work onto the stage, coming off the stage, down the step down. Peyton closing that gap now through the S's, down the straightaway. It was eight, nine tenths, now just six tenths. Now with two minutes left to go, your leader's coming to the driver's hand, getting ready to come up on traffic, on traffic. Your yellow and red, yellow, red is your leader. Two trucks move over, please. Second, battle. That's good. Fisher getting the rough end of that. Traffic that puts Peyton into the top spot. Fisher holding on to the two. Dobson in the three. And it's 3.7 seconds for Peyton now. Oh, Peyton goes upside down on the step down. And Fisher going to cross the back over into the top spot. A minute 20 to go, drivers. A minute 15 on the race clock. Fisher back on the back on the top spot. Peyton in the two, Dobson in that three spot. We're in the final minute. Fisher still holding on that top spot. Fisher er, Peyton in the two, as they battle coming to the driver stand. 50 seconds on the race clock. Peyton closing that gap. Oh, he gets crossed up coming off the tabletop. Catching a pipe coming off the stage. Going to get Fisher a little bit of. Thirty-five seconds left to go, drivers. Fisher still in that top spot. Peyton in the two. Oh, Fisher getting crossed up, coming off the tabletop. Going to allow Peyton to close that gap just a bit. It was 1.8 last time by with 20 seconds left to go. They might get one more lap in. It's 1.1 as Peyton really closing the gap through the bank, coming to the driver stand. Thank you for moving over down over the tabletop. Fish. Oh, Peyton catching the tabletop. Uh, less than five drivers. Fisher going to get a victory lap here. Finish the lap you are on. Joey Fisher going to win your B main. He, I'm sorry, he got caught at the line. Joey Fisher is done getting caught at the line. Looking for one more to finish up. And Joe, Joey Fisher's gonna win your B main. Seth Payton in the two, Clarence Dobson in the three. You three, your vehicles go to Tech. Kenny Hogan in the four, Teddy Davis in the five, Richard Lewis in the six, Sean Alfonso in the seven. Joey, come on over here, please. Seth, that truck needs to go to tech. Get my motor Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 2023 Carpet Off-Road Nationals here at Beachline Raceway, sponsored by J Concepts. I'm here with Joey Fisher, who just won B-Main 13.5 Stadium Truck. It was like a race that nobody wanted to win. How does it feel to take that? Uh, it's a little, a little bittersweet. I, I had some A-Main pace and everything this whole weekend, but, you know, little things here and there happen, and kind of uh, ruined that little bit, but uh, it's nice to come out, at least finish up on top and, uh, you know, give uh, a Schumacher, you know, something to go and brag on, even though it's a B main. Uh, we have more pace. We'll figure some more things out and uh, we'll go get them next time. Anybody you'd like to thank? I'd like to thank Schumacher, Raw Speed, uh, BK Servo and uh, LRP. Congratulations. All right, thank you very much. Joey, you need to go to that white box.
Hey, Joey, hurry up, hurry up for me. Joey, I need you to hurry up and get out here to Marshall. All right, straightaway is closed, straightaway is closed. All right, bring him over to your great positions, Joey. Come on out here. I need you out here to Marshall, bud. All right. Starting in the one spot is going to be Dalton Hashbarger. In the two, TJ Bradley. In the three, Ashton Schimmel. In the four, Ethan Mickelson. In the five, Andrew Kaufman. In the six, Chad Smith, Jr. In the seven, Kenny Setzer. In the eight, John Cravata. In the nine, Nolan Manchester. And in the ten is going to be Chad Neuweiler. All right, driver's grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your 17-5 buggy brought to you by Team Scream B Main. False start, false start. False start to car number nine. All right, driver's grit is set. Grit is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your 175 buggy B main. I got Hashburger on that early lead coming on the step downs. Bradley in the two. Schimmel three, Schimmel trying to find a way around Bradley, Hashberger trying to pull away over the tabletop, they work. Hashberger one, Bradley two, Schimmel three, Bradley, Schimmel, Bradley and Schimmel in, heading in front of driver's stand over the tabletop, battle for that second spot. Bradley catching a little bit of the pipe Schimmel unable to take advantage. Now Schimmel taking a look on the inside and making the pass up to the two spot. So Schimmel into the two, Bradley down to the three. We got Kaufman in the four, stay low through the table, or the stage. Um, thank you. Hashberger in that top spot. Kaufman now in that two. Mickelson three. Setzer four. Manchester five. Schimmel six. Bradley seven. Two, three, four. Heading to the driver's stand. Over the tabletop. Three and four. Nose to tail. That is Mickelson and Setzer working in through the S section. Down the straightaway they go. Careful coming off the stage, we are clear. That battle for that third spot over the tabletop. Mickelson in the two, sets her in the three. Oh, your leader catching a pipe at the end of the step downs, that's gonna allow Coppin to close the gap. It was 3.6, now nine tenths of a second. Ashberger holding on to that top spot. Careful working through the S's. On the stage, your battle for your lead, starting to heat up down the step downs they go. 
Hashberger one, Kaufman two, nine tenths last time by Mickelson and Sets are battling it out for that three spot. 240 down, 220 left to go. Careful coming off the bank, careful coming off the, oh. Hashberger catching the pipe going into the chicane. That's gonna move Kaufman into that two spot. Or into the one spot, I'm sorry. Uh, Hashberger down to the two as they battle in through the chicane. Down and straight away they go. Minute 45 on the race clock. Kaufman in that top spot. Hashberger in the two. Hashberger took a look in the inside, unable to make the pass as they work through the S's. A minute 35 on the race clock. Three tenths last time by. Now they're working over the roller around the triangle. Now coming to the driver's stand over the tabletop on the stage. Hashberger taking another look on the inside at the coming down the stage. Unable to do it. Oh, Kaufman catching a pipe coming off the stage or through the S's. Careful around the bank. All right, we're in the final minute. We have Mickelson in that top spot. Now Ashberger two, Schimmel three. Here Kaufman three, Schimmel four, sets are five. Eight tenths, your leaders coming onto the stage, coming off the stage. Newweiler, the leaders will be coming up on you here with 35 seconds left to go. Mickelson in the one, Hashberger in the two as they come over the tabletop. Up onto the stage, Hashberger taking another look, unable to make a pass. Now keeping a, taking a look over the dot, they get together. Hashberger ends up upside down. Mickelson one, Schimmel two, now sets her in the three with less than 10 on the race clock. As your leaders work through the S section, down the straightaway they go. As the clock finished the lap, you're on your leaders. You got going over the tabletop, looks like Setzer's moved up to that two spot. Schimmel down to the three as they work down in through the S's. Ah, uh, Schimmel catching the pipe coming into the S's. And everybody is done. Ethan Mickelson's gonna win your B main for 17.5, two-wheel drive buggy. Sets are in the two, Schimmel in the three, Hashberger in the four. So Ethan, Kenny, Ashton, your cars go directly to tech. Ethan, come on over here for a quick interview. Everybody else, right out to marshalling spot. All right, Ethan, come over here to see Clayton. Everybody else, right back to their marshals. We're at marshaling spots, to your marshaling spots. Is all clean? <laughs> all right, drivers, to your marshaling spots. Hello, everybody. We're back at the 2023 Off-Road Carpet Nationals at Beachline Raceway, sponsored by J Concepts. I'm here with Ethan Michelson, who just won 17.5 B Main with a kind of like a swap back and forth of the lead all throughout. How's oh, that yeah. feel? That was w a crazy race. I knew I had a bad start. Well, not really bad start. I just started off rough there, but fourth and I, it was crazy. I know <laughs> so many cars and like, I in, just want to say, just never stop, you know, <laughs> going, you know, that was, I think I was at least a good, you know, five seconds behind Dalton there for a little bit. I just kept on digging there and I was, was able to pull it off. And me and Kenny had an amazing battle through there. I know it kind of felt like I was holding him up, but you know, it comes down to if you can pass someone cleanly and uh, just, it was a good race battle between the two of us. And there are a few racing incidents here and there, but I just want to give a huge shout out to the Thunder Road RC race team for helping me set up my cars and also just supporting uh, Thunder Road up in Minnesota. Congratulations, that was a great victory. Thank you, man.
Six, Kenny Hogue, and the seven, Michael Dupree. What car? Who is that? He's holding. What's your name? I can't see from the light. Huh? Hopefully y'all have the right numbers on your cars. All right, drivers, grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your 21.5 2 wheel buggy B main brought to you by Trinity. Your BQ. Not starting this one. We got Gonzalez out in that top spot, Smith in the two, low three, Dupree four, Wilson four or five, Hoag six. This is race number 29. We're one minute down, four minutes left to go. Gonzalez in that top spot has a 2.3 second advantage over Smith in the two. Wilson in that three spot, low in the four, Hogue five, Dupree in the six. Gonzalez still holding on to that top spot. Wilson in that two, low three, hook four, Smith five, Dupree six. Gonzalez now three seconds up on Wilson. Wilson's got a two second advantage over Hogue. Hogue has a one and a half second advantage over Smith. Low, three seconds back from Smith. Careful through the S's, we are clear. Two ten down, two fifty left to go, drivers. Gonzalez still holding on to that top spot. Oh, we got care for coming down the step. Step down, we are clear. Low and Smith battling it out now. Down the step down they go. Low having some trouble through the S's. Gonzalez holding on that top spot as we're approaching two minutes left to go. Wilson in the two, 1.4 now is your battle in front of the driver's stand for the lead. Wilson closing that gap up. Your leaders crossing the line, 1.1 seconds, minute 40 left to go. Your leader is that black car, yellow wheels. Careful on the stage, go high on the stage, we are clear. Your leader, black car, yellow wheels. Second place is going to be white with blue and white wheels.
1.9 now is the separation with a minute 15 left to go. Careful on the stage. Got two cars separating. Your second place car coming on the straightaway now. Low, that is your second place car. Thank you very much. Oh, your leader getting in some trouble. That's going to allow second place Wilson to close that gap as we're in the final minute. One car separating them. Thank you. Your leader's now working through the S section. Down the straightaway they go. It was two and a half. Let's make it six tenths of a second now. 40 seconds on the race clock. Gonzalez in the one, Wilson in the two, over the tabletop they work. Now coming onto the stage, 30 seconds on the race clock. Three to S as they go, six tenths was the separation last time by. This time by, let's make it one second. 20 seconds left to go, drivers. Gonzalez a little wide entering the S is getting loose coming onto the straightaway. That's gonna put Wilson up to the top spot. Less than five on the race clock drivers. As the race clock finish the lap, you're on. We'll pick your leaders up. Oh, Gonzalez upside down. That's gonna allow Wilson to pull away, going through the S's. Down the straightaway, across the line to win your 21-5 buggy B main. Brought to you by Trinity. Gonzalez crossing the line to finish in that two spots. Chad Smith in the three. Tony, Omar, and Chad. Take your buggies over to Tech. And then Tony right over here to see Clayton for a quick interview. And everybody else right out to Marshall. And I'm gonna need a couple of volunteer marshals for this next race, please. And then I'm going to need some volunteers for the next, the race after this one. Sponsored by J Concepts at the Roar Nationals. I'm here with Tony Wilson, who just right, won the B Main 21.5 Trinity class. How does it feel to get that win on the last lap? It feels really good to get that win after attending the Nats in uh, Oregon last year and learning the ropes. This is a, uh, a step up. Had a good time. Anybody you'd like to thank? I'd like to thank the uh, host track for sponsoring the event, J Concepts, of course, NorCal Hobbies and Team Powers, uh, Eric Vasutin. Uh, you've been instrumental in bringing us through this, so I truly appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Tony, go to the five for me, please. Tony, 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 Tony. Tony, you need to come back out and marshal. Number five, go to the five box for me, please. Go ahead, roll them out, drivers, to roll them out. All right, we're going to close the straightaway down. All right, drivers, going to take him over to your starting position. Starting the one is going to be Chris Burke. The two will be left open. That was Lee Conley Jr. In the three, Brian Thomas. And in the four, Richard Lewis. Seth Payton, time in his scoring. All right, drivers, grid is set, grid is locked. The next time you will be the start of your Masters two-wheel drive buggy B-Main.
Chris Burke out now, hole shot, catch a little bit of pipe through the chicane. That's going to allow Brian Thomas to close the gap, but he catches the pipe in the triangle. Richard Smith having some trouble coming to him. Burt holding on to that top spot. Thomas to Lewis in the three. Minute 10 down, 3.50 to go. Burt in that top spot. Thomas in that two. Lewis in that three spot. Minute and a half down, three and a half to go. Burt in the one, Thomas to Lewis in the three. Burt with a five second advantage over Thomas in that two spot. Your leader working through the S's, down the straightaway he goes. Thomas coming up on some traffic and through the S's and down the straightaway he goes. Make it four and a half seconds now. Thomas trying to close that gap. High on the straightaway, your leader goes upside down. Your leader, Chris Bear, holding on to that top spot. Burt still holding that top spot. Thomas to Lewis in the three, 220 left to go, drivers. We're approaching the final two minutes. Two minutes left. Two minutes left to go, drivers. Burt still holding on to that top spot. Thomas in the two, Lewis in the three. Minute and a half to go, drivers. Minute 15 on the race clock. As we approach the final minute. Forty-five seconds left to go. Burt still in that top spot. Thomas, five and a half seconds back in the two. Richard, you gave it everything she got, but you can still get third. Fifteen seconds left to go.
That's the race, race clock, everybody. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Chris Bird crossing the line to win your Masters. Two-wheel drive buggy, B-Main. Brian Thomas crossing over to finish second. Richard Lewis in the three. All three cars, you guys need to go to Tech. There is a transmission rule. It has to work after the race, Sorry, Richard. We'll get Chris Burt over to see Clayton. Race 31, hold your cars, hold your cars. 31, I am going to need some, quite a bit of turn marshals. I only had three in that race. If you want to be a part of some of the best stock racing in the nation, come out and volunteer marshal. I know I always volunteer marshal. Nationals here at Beachline Raceway, sponsored by J Concepts. I'm here with Chris Burt, who just won uh, Masters Two Wheel Drive B Main. How's it feel to take down a win at a national event? Really good, really good. We've been working for it for a long time. Is there anybody uh, you'd like to give a shout out to? Uh, all my Serpent teammates uh, and um, my wife specifically for letting my son and I come and do this, and my son for helping and. Uh, Patrick and everybody, so yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Congratulations. Let's roll them out. Brian Thomas, go over to by, by the driver's stand for me, please, at that stool. Careful coming on straight away, guys. Careful coming on straight away. Okay. Straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. Go ahead and roll them to your starting spots. Doug, you're going to go into one. Kyle, two. Tyler, three. Kai. Or I'm sorry. Doug into two. Kyle, three. Tyler, four. Kai, five. Nate, six. Dustin, seven. Jeff, eight. Jovi, nine. Sammy, ten. All right. Um, you're the one that's in this that red box there. Move over here to the opening until after the race. Once the race starts, move over. Thank you. All right, drivers. I can send them all back to their pits. All right, drivers. Grid is set. Grid is locked. Your A3. Daniel Chavez locked up your A main win in A2. So, drivers, your A3 will begin on the tone. Uh, Doug having some trouble there at the dot. It's going to move Kyle into that top spot. Tyler two, Doug three, Kai four, Nate five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're still in a train as they come off the stage down the step down. Kai with a mistake. That's going to move. Kai in the, is in the three, Dustin four, Le Jovi five. Top four starting to pull away just a bit as they come down the st steps. Kai having a little bit of trouble. Dustin took a look on the inside. We got Tyler in that top spot, Doug in the two. Doug take a look on the inside around the triangle and I'm able to have it now. Tyler having some trouble, careful coming through to, in front of the driver's stand. That's going to give Doug a huge advantage 
as we got side-by-side -side action going through the S's down and straight away they go. Dustin two, Jeff up to the three. Kai in the four. Kyle five. A one off track. Jeff's gonna move up to that two spot. Nate into the threes, two. Nate catching that dot, that's gonna move Kyle up to that three spot. Meanwhile, Doug saying, you guys keep battling it out. I'm trying to step out of here. He's got a two and a half second advantage over Jeff in the two, Dustin three. Kyle in the four, Tyler in the five. Jovi six, Nate seven. Sammy eight, Kai nine. Ah, uh, Dustin having a mistake. That's gonna move Kyle up to that three spot. And we are 210 down, 250 left to go, drivers. Your leader down the straightaway, Jeff down the straightaway, Kyle down the straightaway, Tyler now 1.1 back in that four spot, one, two, three. Have a little bit of separation between them now. Tyler trying to put his head down. Oh, Kyle having a mistake coming off of the stage. That's gonna move Tyler up to that three spot. Nate into the four. 245 down, 215 left to go. Doug still holding on that top spot. Jeff into two, Tyler three, Nate four. Kyle five, Kai six, Jovi seven, Dustin eight, Sammy nine. We had two minutes left to go. Minute 45 left to go, drivers. Doug still holding on that top spot. Jeff two, Tyler three, three, 20 down, a minute 40 left to go. Minute 20 on the race clock, drivers, Doug still holding on that top slot. Jeff two, Tyler three, Nate one second back in the four from Tyler. Tyler crossing the line, Nate crossing the line. So top three cars in their own little area. As we're in the final minute. Tyler three, Nate four, Kyle five, Dustin six, Kai seven. Jovi eight, Sammy nine. Jovi up to the seven, Kyle down to that eight spot. We have 45 seconds left to go. Careful in front of the driver's stand on the tabletop. We are clear. 25 seconds on the race clock, drivers. Pick your leader up as he goes over the tabletop. Second place coming to the driver's stand. Less than 10 on the clock, drivers. Doug looking to cruise to victory here in A3. That's the race clock, keep going and finishing your lap. Doug LaRiviere is going to cross the line to win A3. 417, 5 2 wheel drive buggy. Jeff Stackowitz in that two. Tyler Hooks in that three. Nate Sutherland four. Dustin Fox five. Kai Goff six. Joey Levin seven. Kyle Holmberg eight. Sammy Moran nine. So Doug, Jeff, Tyler, put your vehicles in tech. Doug, come over here for a quick interview. Uh, trucks hold them one quick second. Let's marshals, let's let's get back out here, marshals, let's get back out here. 
Let's come on, let's go, Marshals. Let's go, let's go. Chavez, we still need you out here. To Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2023 Carpet Off-Road Nationals at Beast Island Raceway, sponsored by J Concepts. I'm here with Doug LaRiviere, and he just won that A3 of 17.5 buggy. How's that feel? Uh, pretty good. I mean, I didn't have much for Chavez this week. Uh, qualified second, finished second uh, overall, so uh, I think that's pretty solid. I think that's my best uh, finish in two-wheel drive at a Roar event, so I'm pretty stoked on that. Yeah, Chavez was kind of in a league of his own, um, but how did it feel to just run away with that race? felt good. I mean, you just got to be there when it counts and see how the cards fall. Congratulations. Thank you. Straightaway is closed. Up next, race number 32. Lost Stephen Trust. Avery May. Rock Champlin. Spencer Rizzo. Kai. Nice. Uh, is he marshalling right there? Are you marshalling there? Yes, yes you. you. All right, Kai, come right here. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. It's going to be Rifkin's going to start in a one. The two will be left open. That Dakota Finn already locked up. You're a modified stadium truck national championship. In the three spot, it's going to be Brock Chaplin. In the four, Ryan Cavallari. In the five, Juan Lopez. In the six, Tater Sontag. And in the seven, Quincy Atkins. Grid is set. Grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your mod stadium truck A3. Rifkin out that whole shot. Chaplin in the two. Cavalieri in that three spot. One, two, three. Cavalieri trying to close it in on Chaplin for that second spot as they go over the tabletop. Forty seconds down, four twenty left to go. Careful in front of driver stand. Chaplin make it with a mistake. That's going to move Cavalieri up to that two spot. Sontag into the three. Chaplin down to the four. Lopez five. Atkins six. Rifkin holding on to that top spot with a six and uh, with a two second lead over Cavalieri in the two. Sontag up to the three. Chaplin four. Lopez five. Atkins in the six. Your leader, Cavalieri, working towards the driver's stand. Or, I'm sorry, Rivkin into the driver's stand. Cavalieri now to the driver's stand. For a minute 50 down, 310 left to go. Rivkin holding on to that top spot. Cavalieri two, Sontag in the three. 1.6 seconds separate, second and third. Chaplin in the four, Lopez five, Atkins six. 210 down, 250 left to go, drivers. Rifkin holding on to that top spot. Careful coming on to the driver's stand. We are clear. Mm -hmm. 
two, 40 down, 220 left to go. Ridgeman still holding on that top spot. Cavalier two, Sontag three, Chaplin four. Lopez five, Atkins in the six. Four down, two to go, drivers. Three down, two to go. Three, 15 down, a minute 45 left to go. Rifkin in that top spot, Cavalier two, Sontag three, Chaplin four. Chaplin trying to close that gap on Sontag. It's nine tenths. Now, looks like Chaplin off track. Rifkin now now one, Cavalier two, Sontag three, Lopez four. As we are in the final minute. Rifkin holding on to that top spot. Cavalier two, five seconds back. Sontag in that three spot. Lopez four, Atkins five. Thirty seconds on the race clock. Less than 10 drivers. That's the clock, keep going, keep until you finish your lap. Looking for Spencer Rifkin to cross line. He does and wins a three here in Modified Stadium Truck. Ryan Cavalieri, Cavalieri in the two, Tater Sontag in the three, Juan Lopez in the four, Quincy Atkins in the five. I'm gonna get Spencer over for a quick interview. Hello, everybody. We're back at the 2023 Off-Road Carpet Nationals at Beachline Raceway, sponsored by J Concepts. I'm here with Spencer Ripkin, who just won A3 in Mod Stadium Chalk. How's it feel to get a win in, it, in uh, A Main here at uh, Beachline? Yeah, obviously, it always feels good to win. But honestly, um, it was a good weekend. Everyone out there was just kind of surviving with the trucks. We, everyone kind of just threw down. It was There were some good battles. And yeah, overall, I finished second. Dakota had a hell of a first main, second main, and that's... All you can really ask for is just drive clean and uh, move on to the next race. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks.
three, Jeff four, Kai five, Dustin six, Sammy seven, Kyle eight, Doug, Doug nine, nine, eight, ten. Eight, ten. Daniel Chavez locked up your 13-5 four-wheel drive championship in A2. All right, drivers, grid is set. Grid is locked. Who is my number seven, Marshall? Who's the Marshall in the red? All right, thank you. All right, drivers, grid is set. Grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your 13-5 four-wheel drive A3 brought to you by Surpass Hobbies. We got Nate in that top slot, Trevor two, Jeff three, Kai four. One, two, three on the stage, coming off the stage. Nate in that top spot, one, two, three, over the roller, coming to the driver's stand. Kai in that four spot, Sammy five. Working through the S's, now down the straightaway they go. Nate still in that top spot, half a second back is Jovi in the two, Jeff in that three spot. Oh, Jovi with the mistake. Careful coming off the stage, guys. That's gonna bunch up the field and let Nate pull away. Kai up to that top spot, or I mean two spot, Jeff in the two, three. Dustin in the four, Kenny five, Sammy six now. Jovi down to the seven. Nate two and a half seconds up on Kai in the two. Jeff three, Kenny in the four. A minute and a half down, four, three and a half left to go. Jeff, Kenny, Sammy. Nose to tell. Jeff trying to pull away from that battle for the four spot. And trying to catch it up to Kai in the two. We got two, three, four coming off the stage. Can he trying to find a way around? He does. Jeff in the three. Kenny in the four. Sammy five. Sammy trying to find a way around. Kenny now, oh, he catches, Sammy catches a pipe. Gonna drop him down to all the way down to that eight spot. Meanwhile, Nate settling in that top spot, three seconds up. Kai Goff in the two. Oh, Kai catching the pipe. That's gonna put Jeff up to two. Kenny up to the three, Kai into the four. Careful around the bank, careful around the bank. Jeff in that two spot, Kenny three, Kai four, two, three, four. Oh, looks like Kenny caught catching the chicane. We're in, we got two minutes left to go. Nate in the one, Jeff two, Kai back up to that three spot. Nate trying to jump all the way up to second overall here in the running if he can win this A3. Careful coming on the step down, in the step down. It is clear. Nate in the one, Jeff two, Kai three. That battle for that third or second spot, I'm sorry. Coming in to the driver's stand, over the tabletop, onto the stage. Jeff and Kai. That's gonna be a battle for the podium as well overall as we're approaching the final minute. Right now, Jeff has it. Kai able to get around, he'll take over third overall on the podium. And it's 50 seconds, oh, Kai having some trouble on the stage. Careful, stay low through the stage. 
That's gonna put Jovi up to that three spot. Kai down to the four. 40 seconds left to go, drivers. Thirty seconds on the race clock. Twenty seconds left to go. Nate working his way towards the driver stand. Through the chicane, Nate's going to get a victory lap here as Jeff crosses the line into two. Jovi three, Kai in the four, Kyle in the five, Kenny six, Sammy seven, Dustin eight, and Nate Solon's going to win a three. Doug is going to finish in that nine spot. So Nate. Jeff and Jovi, Cars to Tech. Nate, come on over here for an interview. All right, Marshals, let's get let's get in our spots. Let's get in our spots. All right, right to our spots, drivers, right to our marshalling spots. Nate, come on over here. Nate, 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 come on over here. Let's go. Hold, hold, hold on for a second. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the 2023 Carpet Off-Road Nationals here at Beachline Raceway, sponsored by J Concepts. I'm here with 13.5. A main right, number three up, winner, here. sponsored by Surpass USA. How does it feel to get that win after having great pace all weekend long? Dude, I've been trying to catch Daniel, and find, he won A1 and A2, but it was fun to get the A3 win, and car felt really good. So, Anybody you'd like to thank? The whole TLR team yet again, and Kevin for all the horsepower he gives me. So, Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, drivers, straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. Go ahead, roll them out to your starting positions. Starting in the one spot is going to be Dakota Finn. The two will be left open. That Spencer Rifkin locking it up in a two. In the three spot. Brock Chaplin in the four, Aiden Horn in the five, Julian Olivares in the six, Aaron Kaufman in the seven, Brandon Foot in the eight, Tater Sontag in the nine, Ryan Cavallari and in the 10, Brendan Schimmel. All right, drivers, grid is set, grid is locked. The next sound you hear will be the start of your mod two wheel Buggy brought to you by J Concepts A3. We got Finn in that top spot, Chaplin two horn, three Oliveras, four Kaufman, and the five. Foot six, on tag seven, Cavalier eight, Schimmel nine. Finn holding on that top spot. 
Chaplin trying to close it in through the S's down and straight away they go. Around the bank now, coming over the roller, around the triangle. Fend in that top spot, Chaplin in that two. Chaplin trying to close the gap. It was a half a second last time by Chaplin getting a little bit crossed up coming off of the tabletop. Now 1.3 is the separation. Horn right, a half a second back from Chaplin now. So the battles for that two spot. Horn took a look on the inside coming off the stage, unable to make the pass. Careful calling the step down. Over the tabletop, second and third work. Chaplin in the two, Horn three, Oliveira's four foot five. Cavalier in the six. One second separates second through fifth. As they work on up to the driver, up to stage, now coming down the stage in through the S section. Around the bank over the roller, coming to the driver's stand. Chaplin in the two, Horn three, Oliveira's four foot five, Cavalieri six. Two ten down, two fifty left to go, drivers. Now, oh, careful coming to the drivers. Car seven, car seven, stop and go in the box next time by stop and go in the box next time by we are halfway drivers go two forty five down two fifteen left to go drivers fence on that top spot chaplain two horn three cavalry four foot five Oliveira six Kaufman seven Sontag eight Schimmel in the nine as we are approaching two to go, drivers. That is two minutes left to go. Finn holding on to that top spot. Chaplin two, horn three. Two and a half seconds separate top three. Top three have pulled away. Chaplin and Finn battling it out. For that second spot coming down the straightaway. Let's make it nine tenths of a second. Chaplin in the two, Horn in the three. Still two and a half seconds separate top three with a minute 25 left to go. Your leader, Dakota Finn, working in through the S's and down the straightaway. Two, three down the straightaway as well. Minute 15 left to go, drivers. As we approach the final minute. Careful in front of the driver's stand. We are clear. We're in the final minute. Finn still in that top spot. Got a 1.3 over Chaplin and two horn and one second back from Chaplin. Cavalry enough for Oliveira's five, Sontag six. Foot seven, Kaufman eight, Schimmel nine. 45 seconds left to go, drivers. Careful in front of the driver's stand. We are clear, 25 seconds on the clock. Chaplin moves up to that top spot. Finn met the mistake. Fifteen seconds on the race clock, drivers. Less than ten. That's the clock, everybody keep going and finishing your lap. Brock Chaplin gonna cross the line to win a three. Dakota Finn in the two, Aiden Horn in the three, Ryan Cavallari in the four, Julian Oliveris in the five, Tater Sontag in the six, Aaron Kaufman in the seven, Brandon Foot eight, Brendan Schimmel nine. All right, Brock, Dakota, Aiden, put your cars go directly to Tech. Brock, come on over here for a quick interview.
everybody. Welcome back to the 2023 Carpet Off-Road Nationals here at Beachline Raceway, sponsored by J Concepts. I'm here with Mod Two-Wheel Drive A3 winner Brock Champion, brought to you by J Concepts. Brock, how does it feel to get a win here at Nationals? I know it's not the result you were looking for overall, but how does it feel to get that win? I mean, I think we made some progress this weekend. Uh, it's been pretty evident the last few races we've gone to. Dakota's kind of just waxed us, so... Spencer was super quick. He picked up a lot of pace this weekend on carpet and two-wheel drive, and then uh, I think I found a little bit, but in the last main, I don't know what was going on. Honestly, my car wasn't that rad. It kind of went away. I don't know if it was just like a worse set of tires or what it was, but uh, I was kind of hanging on for dear life at the start. Then the issue that happened with Dakota, it sucks like kind of to take second overall like that, but it's racing. It happens, and uh, yeah, it was a good weekend. Oops, sorry, turn the mic off. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. All right, up next, 13-5 stadium truck, A3. All right, straightaway is closed. We're gonna go ahead and set the grid. Starting in the one spot, Doug LaRiviere. In the two, Jeff Stakowitz. In the three, Kyle Holmberg. In the four, Joey Levin. In the five, Chad Newweiler. In the six, Brian Wyrick. In the seven, John Prickett. In the eight, Ch Kyle Chasen. The nine, Jason Coleman. And the 10, Mike Gazer. This, is, this race will decide our national champion 413-5 stadium truck. Got Doug with a win. Jeff with a win. Gr drivers. Grid is set, grid is locked. The next time you here will be the start of your 13-5 stadium truck A3. Got Doug out in that top spot. Jeff in the two. Kyle three, Joey four. One, two, three, four. Starting to break away just a bit. Newweiler in that five spot. Kyle still, or er, Doug holding that top spot. Jeff two. Kyle in the three. Thirty-five seconds now. Four twenty-five left to go. Doug still holding on to that top spot. Kyle, Jeff two, Kyle three. Jovi in the four. Doug trying to separate himself here. 1.2 up. We got a battle for second, third, fourth over the tabletop. Onto the stage, coming off the stage. Jeff in the two, Kyle three, Jovi four. Brian in the five, Kyle six, John seven, Mike eight, Chad nine. Minute 20 down, 340 left to go, drivers. Jeff still holding on that top, or I'm dug in the top spot, Jeff in the two, Kyle three, Jovi four. Still. Doug now eight tenths up as Jeff's trying to close that gap. Through the S as they work. Doug in that top spot. Jeff two, Kyle three as we're two down, three to go, drivers. Doug still holding on that top spot, nines, tenths up. As they cross the line, Jeff two, Kyle three, Jovi in the four. Doug 
Doug still holding on that top spot. Jeff two, Kyle, or Chevy three, Kyle in the four now. As we're approaching two minutes left to go. Doug in that top spot, Jeff two, Jovi in the three with two minutes left to go. Your leader working through the S's down the straightaway. Jeff right there, just a three tenth separation. Both of them with a win. Now careful coming to the step down, careful coming to the step down. Your leader's coming through to step down. Yeah, second place right there as well. Thank you, Jovi in that three spot. Not far back, just nine tenths back. Doug holding on that top spot. Jeff in a two with a minute 20 left to go. Drivers. Doug with a win in A2. Jeff with a win in A1. As we approach the final minute. 1.3 seconds is the separation as they work through the S's down the straightaway. They have some clear track in front of them to race it out. Doug now pulling it out to 1.5. As we're approaching the final minute, Jovi in that three spot trying to close it in on Jeff. Three, four, five, or three, or two, three, four, sorry, down the straightaway. 35 seconds left to go. Doug still holding on that top spot. Jeff to 1.2 back now. Jovi eight tenths back from Jeff. Down the straightaway, they work in through the bank. 20 seconds on the race clock. Kyle in the four with 15 seconds left to go, drivers. Jeff really starting to close it in as they go down the straightaway, less than 10 on the clock. This is gonna be their final lap. And over the roller they go, Doug in that top spot, Jeff in the two, and they're getting ready to come over the tabletop. Hold that car, go, thank you. Jeff got loose coming onto this stage. That's gonna give Doug the cross the line and win, A3 in overall win for 13-5. Stadium track, Jeff in the two, Jovi in the three, Kyle in the four, Brian in the five, Kyle. Chasing in the six, John in the seven, Chad eight, Mike in the nine. So Doug, Jeff, and Jovi, cars over to Tech. Doug, right over here for interview, please. Hold your cars, drivers. All right, trophy presentation will be start approximately 4.20. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the 2023 right, Off-Road Carpet Nationals here at Beachline Raceway, sponsored by J Concepts. I'm here with Doug LaRiviere, who just won his national title in 13.5 Stadium Truck. How does it feel to win the national title on carpet? feels good. I mean, last year I had some uh, unfortunate luck in uh, TQ2 and then only got third in uh, the mains. And this year we came up with a goal and we succeeded. How about all those sponsors? Oh, Team Associated, J Concepts, Team Powers, um, Wits Racing Products, Cheetah Racing, NorCal Hobbies, Auburn RC, Aiden Horn RC, everyone. Thank you. It's amazing. The support I've had over the six years I've been racing has been insane. Congratulations, national champ, Doug. Thank you.
right, careful through the S's. All right, drivers, let's go ahead. Bring them to your gritting position. Dakota Fang clinched the national championship in A2. So starting in the two spots going to be Ty Tessman in the three. Spencer Rivkin in the four. Brock Champlin in the five. Tater Sontag in the six. Aiden Horn in the seven. It'll be Brandon Foote in the eight. Aaron Kaufman. In the nine, Ryan Cavallari. And in the 10 will be Julian Oliveras. All right, driver's grid is set, grid is locked. Next sound you hear will be the start of your mod four wheel drive buggy brought to you by Wits Racing Products A3. Tessman out in that top spot. Rifkin two. Chaplin in the three. Sontag four. Oh, careful coming. We got one off of the. Yeah, Rifkin having trouble coming off the tabletop. It's going to move Chaplin up to that two spot. Sontag three, Horn four. Kaufman five, foot six, Cavalry seven. Over eight, and Rivkin into nine as we're 45 seconds down, 415 left to go. Tessman in that top spot, Chaplin all over the back side of Tessman. Your leaders working to the driver's stand over the tabletop. Tessman in the one. Chaplin in the two. Sontag in that three spot. Horn in the four. Meanwhile, up front, Chaplin rolling over the back wheel of Tessman. He's so close, trying to figure out what foam he is running. Working through the S as they go. Now down the straightaway. Tessman in that top spot. Chaplin two. Ta Sontag. Closing that up in the three spot. He is right behind Chaplin now. I mean, as Tasman pulls away just a bit. Down the straighter it goes. Tasman in that top spot. Chaplin two. Sontag three. Tessman hold on that top slot, 210 down, 250 left to go, drivers. Tessman still holding on that top spot, Sontag's moved up to the two, Chaplin down to the three, after Chaplin having some mistake over the tabletop. There's your leaders. Working through the S section, two, three, through the S section. Just past halfway. Tessman still in that top spot, 1.6 up. Oh, Tessman having some trouble coming to the driver's stand. That's going to allow Sontag to close that gap as they work the step down in through the S section, down the straightaway they go. It was 1.6. Let's make it six tenths of a second now as they work over the roller. Now the triangle and over the tabletop. Two minutes left to go, drivers. Tessman holding on to that top spot. Sontag in the two, six tenths was the separation. Still six tenths this time by Chaplin. Chaplin in that three spot. Horn in the four, Cavalier five foot six. Raf Rifkin seven, Kaufman eight, Oliveris nine. Meanwhile, up front, Tessman pushing a little wide, entering the S's. That's gonna allow Sontag to keep that gap at six tenths of a second. A minute and a half to go, drivers. Tessman one, Sontag two, Chap Champlin in the three. Oh, Tessman a little bit of trouble. 
Sontag having some trouble. That's going to put, ended up on top of Tessman. Chaplin now in that top spot. Tessman two, Horn three, Cavalry four, Rifkin five. Sontag down to that six with the, as we approach the final minute down the straightaway. Your leaders go around the bank over the roller with one minute left to go, drivers. Ah, Tessman in trouble in front of the driver's stand. That's going to drop him down to the sixth spot. Champlin in that top saw Horn two, Cavalier three, Rivkin four, Sontag five, T Tessman in the six foot seven, Olivares eight, Kaufman nine, 35 seconds left to go. Chaplin now two and a half seconds up on Horn, Cavalier up to that three spot. With 20 seconds left to go. This could be some major movements overall here as we are 15 seconds on the race clock. Chaplin won less than 10 drivers. Careful in front of the driver stand. That's the race clock. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Brock Champlin's gonna get a victory lap here as he's gonna cross the line and win a three. Brock Champlin, Champlin in that top spot. Aiden Horn's gonna finish second, Ryan Cavallari three, Spencer Ravkin in the four, Tater Sontag in the five, Brandon Foote six, Ty Tessman seven, Julian Olveris eight, Aaron Kaufman in the nine. Once again, we are approximately 420, approximately 420 for the trophy presentation. Believe the hype, as Witz Racing Products has all you need to get RC cars dialed in with Hyperglide ceramic bearings and other high performance products for the competitive RC racer. From the shop to the track, increased drivetrain, reduced friction. Hyperglide along to just go faster with Wits Racing products. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the 2023 Carpet Off-Road Nationals here at Beachline Raceway, sponsored by J Concepts. I'm here with Brock Champlin, who just won four-wheel drive mod, sponsored by <laughs> Witch Racing. How's it feel to get that win? Um, I mean, it's good. I, I, I'll take podiums across the board, but obviously you want more. Dakota's super quick this weekend. Once again, just like two-wheel drive, it's just about learning and when you can't win, you sometimes you don't settle on the track, but you have to. You just got to learn. So that's what we were doing this weekend. Um, I struggled yeah, a lot center, with yeah, like center, just steering in the car, natural yeah, steering, center, and then I changed back. one thing for that last one, and I had so much steering, I didn't know what to do with myself. So uh, yeah, just continue to learn those small changes, you know, going forward are what need or is what's needed, and uh, yeah. Cars look super quick. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you. All right, everybody, that's the last race of the day. The next thing we're going to have is podium presentations uh, starting about 4.20 if you're watching live. 4.20 podium presentations. Thank you to Live RC. If you don't have a bonus lap membership, you should.
Hey guys, it's Code Effect here. Uh, we're talking about the Phenom line of addition motors for carburet and dirt. Um, me and Kevin did a lot of testing and we wanted to get it exactly how, uh, how I run it on the track. So you guys can order the motor up, get it out there, and uh, that's what I run on dirt, it's what I run on carpet, and it should be uh, good to go, ready to rip. Believe the hype, as Witz Racing Products has all you need to get RC cars dialed in with hyperglide ceramic bearings and other high performance products for the competitive RC racer. From the shop to the track, increased drivetrain, reduced friction. Hyperglide along to just go faster with Witz Racing Products.
Kevin Abbott is asking all Trinity drivers to the track side for a picture. We're gonna start the trophy presentation here in five minutes. The first two classes are gonna be 13.5 two-wheel drive short course truck A-Main and 13.5 four-wheel drive buggy A-Main. Those are the first two classes, so start making your way towards the track side as well. Thirteen five stadium truck will be the third class. Thirteen five short course truck. Start making your way track side. All right, 13-5, two-wheel drive, short course truck. Your TQ was Tom Sherman. Okay, finishing in the three spot is going to be John Ermer. Finishing second, Seth Payton.
And your winner in 13-5 two-wheel drive short course is Tom Sherman. All right, congratulations, drivers. Next class is gonna be 13-5 four-wheel drive buggy brought to you by Surpass. Your TQ was Daniel Chavez. All right, race or er, finishing tenth. Doug La, La Riviere. Where you at, Doug? Finishing in the nine spot, Dustin Fox. Let's go. In the eight spot is going to be Kenny Sensor. Finishing in the seven is going to be Sammy Moran. And the finishing six, Kyle Holmberg. Go ahead up here, Kenny. Finish in fifth is going to be Kai Goff. still in the building all right he has gone finishing in the four spots going to be Jovi Levin finishing third going to be Jeff Stackowitz Finishing second is going to be Nate Sutherland. And your 13-5 four-wheel drive national champion is Daniel Chavez.
Robbie Michaels, track side, please. Robbie Michaels, track side, please. Robbie, are you out here? All right, next class is going to be 13 5 Stadium Truck. All right, all right, 13 5 Stadium Truck T. Right, hold on, let's, let's hold on one quick second. Hold on one quick second. Right now, we would like to thank Robbie Michaels for providing, or having Beach Line and providing such an amazing facility for us to race at. So Robbie Michaels, if you'll come over, please. We'd like to present to you an appreciation award. Thank you once again, Robbie Michaels, for all that you do for racing here, especially here in Florida. All right, 13-5 stadium truck, RTQ is gonna be Duck, Doug LaRiviere. Finishing in the 10 spot is going to be Mike Gazer. In the 9. Jason Coleman. All right. In the 8. John Prickett. In the seven, Chad Neuweiler. In the six, Kyle Chasen. In the five, Ryan Wyrick. In the four, Kyle Holmberg. Finishing third is going to be Jovi Levin. Finishing second is going to be Jeff Stakowitz. And your 13-5 Stadium Truck National Champion is going to be Doug LaRiviere. Seventeen five two wheel drive buggy is up next. Your TQ is going to be Daniel Chavez. Finishing in the tenth spot is going to be Sammy Moran. The nine spot uh, is Kai Goff. Here, 
here comes Sammy. Finishing in the eight is going to be Jovi Levin. Finishing in the seven, Dustin Fox. Finishing in the six is going to be Nate Sutherland. Finishing in the five is going to be Jeff Stakowitz. Finishing in the four is going to be Tyler Hooks. Finishing in the three is going to be Doug LaRiviere. Finishing second is going to be Kyle Holmberg. And your 17-5 two-wheel drive buggy national champion is Daniel Chavez. Up next is 21-5, two-wheel drive buggy. If you need a box for the crystals and so forth that they came in, you can pick them up at with Cal and Tim. Two-wheel drive buggy, your TQ, Russ Johnson. Finishing in the three spot is going to be Tim Raskin. Finishing in the two spot is going to be Michael Russell. And winning 21 5 two wheel drive buggy is Russ Johnson. Masters two-wheel drive buggy is next. Your TQ for Masters two-wheel buggy is Paul Wynn. Finishing third is going to be Jason Rona. Finishing second is going to be David Alabrico. And winning Masters two wheel drive buggy is Paul Wynn. Did Paul request him to be his trophy girl?
All right, congratulations, drivers. Up next is going to be Mod Two Wheel Buggy. Your TQ is Dakota Finn. All right, finishing in 10th spot is going to be Brendan, Brendan Schimmel. Finishing in the 9th is going to be Aaron Kaufman. Finishing in the eight, Peter Sontag. Finishing in the seven spots gonna be Julian Oliveras. Finishing in the six is gonna be Ryan Cavallari. Finishing in the five spot is going to be Aiden Horn. Finishing in the four spot is going to be Brandon Foot. Finishing third is going to be Brock Champlin. Finishing second is going to be Dakota Finn. And your modified two wheel drive buggy national champion is Spencer Rifkin. All right, congratulations, drivers. Modified four-wheel drive buggy is up next. Your TQ for four-wheel mod is going to be Dakota Finn. Finishing in the 10th er, spot is going to be Brandon Foot. Finishing in the 9 is going to be Aaron Kaufman. Finishing in the 8 is going to be Julian Oliveras.
Finishing in the seven is going to be Ryan Cavallari. Finishing in the six is going to be Tater Sontag. Finishing in the five, Aiden Horn. Finishing in the four spot is going to be Ty Tessman. Finishing in the three is going to be Spencer Rifkin. Finishing second is going to be Brock Champlin. And your modified four wheel drive buggy champion, your national champion is going to be Dakota Finn. All right, modified stadium truck, your TQ, Spencer Rivkin. Finishing in the seventh spot's gonna be Quincy Adkins. Finishing in the six, Juan Lopez. Juan Lopez. Finishing in the six, or I'm sorry, five spot, it's gonna be Tater Sontag. Finishing in the four is gonna be Ryan Cavallari. Finishing in the three spot, it's gonna be Brock Champlin. Spencer Rifkin and your modified stadium truck national champion is Dakota Finn. If you want a box to ship or 
if you are traveling on a plane and want to put it in a box, go see Tim or Cal. We'll be more than happy to give you a box for your awards. Also, we would, on behalf of Roar, we would like to thank everybody who attended this week. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I know we enjoyed having you here and putting on the event. So once again, thank you all for attending the 2023 Roar Carpet Off-Road Nationals here at Beachline Raceway. for Carver and Dirt. Um, me and Kevin did a lot of testing and we wanted to get it exactly how uh, how I run it on the track. So you guys can order the motor up, get it out there, and uh, that's what I run on dirt, it's what I run on carpet, and it should be uh, good to go, ready to rip. Believe the hype as Witz Racing Products has all you need to get RC cars dialed in with Hyperglide ceramic bearings and other high-performance products for the competitive RC racer. From the shop to the track, increase drivetrain, reduce friction. Hyperglide along, just go faster with Witz Racing Products.